All right, hello and welcome to RVA Smash number 87, the 87th RVA Smash here in Richmond, Virginia at the Castleburg Brewery and Tap Room, where we are starting with our side bracket. We have a squad strike, but not just any squad strike. It's gonna be random character and random stage squad strike. Uh, it's gonna be three versus three, just like any regular squad strike bracket. However, every character is gonna be random. And the stages, it's gonna be random as well. Um, they are still the legal stages for MDBA, but uh, just nobody's picking. We're just not going to PS2 every time. So, I think it's gonna be fun. Make sure that the stages are correct, because I think I have like Northern Cave and stuff still legal. Thanks. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> All right, all right. So they're going to go ahead and go through the... Make sure that we got the right stages all legal and everything as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, this is... Uh, we got still, like... We got the 2019 stages, apparently, on the random legal. But uh, they've got it. They've got it all set. I think it's going to be fun, so... Uh, <laughs> we're going to start with Corey versus Grog. I think it's going to be a fun a Richmond versus Fredericksburg match. Um, Grog's going to be a Pikachu player. Corey plays Pyramithra, but you know what? They're playing random today. All right. So going to go ahead and get started. Oh, man. Why is it say Jules versus Click when the scoreboard is all changed? Of course it's not working. I don't know why. Winners round one, it didn't it didn't update. I updated the scoreboard and everything. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Let's see, so It looks like I have to manually update everything because it is not updating correctly. It's not the correct pronouns. Fire. See now if I select this if it works. Nope, this scoreboard's just broken. That's fine. It is gonna be <laughs> So Grog is playing uh, Dr. Mario right now. Corey is on <laughs> Charizard. It has already started, sorry. Yeah. But you can go ahead and get in for singles and everything. Alright. Finally got it all set up. This character seems a little bit more Cory speed as Cory plays Pyramithra. So Cory now on the Marth and it's working out. Luigi coming out for Grog. We'll see if Grog is already too far in the lead or if Cory can bring it all back with this Marth. Cory going off very far and wow, getting that aerial tipper off stage. And now it's just up to Terry for Grog. I think Cory could potentially bring this all the way back just with Marth here. Oh, powering up that forward smash with Terry. Not going to work out, though. Looking for a tipper, but Corey spaced out a little bit too far. Oh, the shield breaker not enough to actually break that shield. Oh, power dive. Looking for the air dunk. Not going to get it. Grog on ledge. Just a forward tilt. Just a little kick. Just a little kick -see. Oh, this is going to be a re but the up B still kind of clanked. Grog starting to play very patient. That up, up be special from Terry. Not going to take it, but the backer is going to. Corey not able to bring it all the way back with that Marth, but very, very close. Victory. 
right. If you're signing up, it's going to be with uh, AJ. Squad strike. Uh, in the in the side bracket right now. Gotcha. No, unfortunately, no. Um, yeah, registration for that's just between one and two. Um, yeah. Okay, so there is another sortie here for uh, Corey. Going to be bringing out the Roy second. <laughs> Grog? Starting with the Simon. Smash gonna be coming out from Grog. Taking the first stock. Yeah, the Roy coming out for Corey, and this is again gonna be kind of Corey's speed. Oh, Simon just kind of sinking. for the upbeat, not making it. Oh. Okay. The Ice Climber's coming out from Grog. Gonna be a little bit tricky. It's proving a little bit tricky for Cory, but Cory, side B. Oh, wow. Getting in real close is Cory. Getting the hill to that sword in that no, both Ice Climbers survive, but actually, Nana dies on the up B. And there goes Popo as well. Corey making this Roy work, but we have Krom out as well. Grog's got Krom. This is uh, two mirror characters. Oh, and that's going to kill Grog bringing this back. To uh, even came <laughs> both of them. Wait, so so Grog had a Simon and <laughs> Corey has a Richter in this random. Wow, Corey's making very good use of this Richter. Not making it though. All right. Holding center stage now. Corey going for forward smash, not, not hitting it. Wow, I like that grab. Coming out for Grog. Corey just needs to find the right hit. It's going to be another grab. Ooh, okay. Grog has Corey off stage, but Corey able to get back. Corey just has to find one hit. But Grog's making it very difficult. <laughs> the cross coming back. But this is getting more and more. Oh my god, the shield break! This is over. Yeah, Grog's won for sure. This is this kills. It <laughs> Corey's out of there. Oh my goodness. Goodness, the shield break. Alright. So that's gonna be 2-0. Coming out for Grog, round one. Very good stuff. And pretty much everyone's, it was 2-0 for Grog. Yeah. All right, multiple setups are getting up. So we're gonna see what matches are gonna be available to us and what we're gonna have next. All right, Mish wins 2-0.
Sock wins 2-0. Let's get J-Dash Sock. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so J-Dash and Sock going to be up next. Uh, I... I lied. The uh, scoreboard doesn't really work. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So it worked here where it updated. Oh, it worked this time. I don't know. It seems random. No, it's just random. Like sometimes you'll click it and it'll like work on the scoreboard, but then it won't import onto the page. Like to go into OP. So, so what, and this for anybody out there watching too. Any of these scoreboard programs, all they're doing is changing a te like different text documents. It'll be it'll be like 20 text documents or whatever for each input, like like name, pronouns, uh, round, etc. Um, all it's doing is updating each of those text documents, and then OBS is reading those text documents and putting it on the screen. And this, for some reason, sometimes it's not updating those documents, and so OBS doesn't know what to put. No, the. The, yeah, something's just not reading right. Either way, we got J-Dash versus Sock. They're going to play this one out. J-Dash starting with Villager, Pikachu, Cloud. Sock has Pit, which is a Sock main, I believe. Uh, Inkling and Ike. Do you have Contro and Grog going too? Yeah, I don't think we should hold anything necessarily for stream. Like, we'll just do both semifinals on stream. Yeah. Wow, I, I look away for just a moment, I come back to this game, and Sock is already down to last character. J Dash's villager is going crazy. Yeah. Yo, J Dash the villager main. Well, you never even knew. You never knew. It's unveiling his true power right before our eyes here on Calico. Actually, a really good uh, villager stage. Whoa, I, I do like that forward tilt. Yeah, Sock reacting with the forward tilt. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, this my dog, is. Stage. This is, I feel like, where things get hard, though. J Dash, I feel like should have a Pikachu, right? It that makes sense. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Looks like he's got one to me. At J least a good enough one to take that game one. JV three, the villager doing all the work, and then Pikachu coming out at the end and just getting that final hit. Pikachu, the janitor, just sweeping up after yeah. the event. You yeah, know, cleaning the scene. Yeah, just you know. You know this uh, this holy Kalos temple. That's right. There's blood all over the place. You yeah, mop that up, Pikachu. Get to it. <laughs> We pay you by the hour. Don't Pikachu, that's time. gonna be the next plushie. Pikachu with a mop. With a mop, mm -hmm. with blood on it. <laughs> uh, what is? Let's just hold that one. Okay. Because this 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 could potentially be over pretty quickly. Yeah. But it also could go the distance. Sock, of course. Yeah. A very good player in their own right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Can I page draw versus Demon on setup four, please. Yeah. I say I think Sock they uh they have the power to make upsets yeah. and to get uh, farther in bracket than predicted. For but, sure. But J Dash is also just such a fundamentally sound character that he can. I think a bracket like this is made for him. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um, I want to see where the plant comes out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, if Sock, I got plant, I would cook. There, Sock, getting, be over. Sock getting a Kazuya, by the way, too. Interesting. We'll see if uh, Sock hangs up with Misha a lot. So mm -hmm. I wonder if they've ever, like, Kazuya'd 
each yeah. other, you know. I, I kind of wonder that too. Uh, so Shulk coming out first for Sock and Meta Knight for J-Dash. Meta Knight also kind of feels like a J-Dash character. I don't know why. Any speedy, small, combo-oriented character feels feels J-Dash. Yeah, th I mean, and I think it's the sword, and I think it's kind of how good this character has been historically in Smash. Yeah, and right now, uh, J-Dash is pretty good on this Meta Knight. Actually, like, extending well, reading options after the hit. Like, not, not immediately swinging again, so just seeing what Sock does. Yeah. Sock, not doing bad either. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Changing the speed in his face there. Yeah, <laughs> right next to him. Being like, how does this work? Let's go for it. And that's let's, part of the fun of random, I think. Yeah, let's give it a try. Yeah. Like, I've seen Shulk do this. Yeah. Ooh, J-Dash going for the shuttle loop, not finding it, but the up smash a little bit too slow for Sock. And that's going to be a forward smash punish. J-Dash getting that Shulk out of here, but here comes the Kazuya. Does Sock have the combos? You got the extra I in there. O-U-I-J-I-A. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Kazuya. Not, oh, this is just straight up uh, Tekken B Street Fighter right now. Cross, cross tag. Let's see. Does Sock have these unlocked? This this feels more like a Sock matchup, I think, than, than something J-Dash would be comfortable with. Yeah, they're both kind of not sure what to do with these FGC characters. You can always tell if someone plays like the Shotos or like Kazuya based on the number of like F smashes they do. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. My t like like I'll get like Terry on random and I only F smash. <laughs> only F smash. That's that's it. I don't know. I don't know any of this other stuff. <laughs> and that's kind of. I mean, they're they're doing stuff, just kind of little little bits and pieces of it. You know. Yeah. And Rage Drive, you could activate Rage Drive. Yep. Yep. Pretty it's easy. Out of there. I believe it's just a grab. Uh, and that's going to be a big stock, the Kazuya. Here comes the plant. Oh, man. One of my favorite characters in Smash, mostly because of its run animation. Oh, Electric Wind God. Okay. What? Okay. Sock. The platform extension. <laughs> Is that an up tilt? So. Oh, God. Wow, what an air oh. dodge. Actually, not getting hit by Fatui <laughs> at all. And the laser? Yeah. Sock really using this Kazuya? This is kind of what I thought was going to happen, to be honest. I was like, I think Sock's got a little bit of a Kazuya, maybe. I think just hanging out with Mish causes you to learn Kazuya. Yeah, a little like osmos Mish osmosis. 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 <laughs> All right, 137 on Kazuya is scary, too. And yeah. you're at kill percent. Sock I think the regular, like, gra uh, the regular command grab will kill soon, the down B. Sock Flame is very patient, but, I mean... It's a lot of extra credit, but if I were Sock, I'd want to finish it. Oh, wow. And not going and to be reverse. able to. So now it's going to be Dr. Mario. Sock really just needs one good hit, but will they get it? Yeah. Uh, uh, up smash on a shield is probably what's on uh, on their mind here. Or a back throw. Doc back throw actually pretty strong. Well, J dash is plant. Not giving up. No. Ooh, back air. No air, sweet spot. Not quite killing. Okay. Eat your pills. Down B. Down You could do it. Yeah, if, I, if I'm stuck, I want to focus on stage control too because this yeah. character is so easy to get. You just die off stage. One of the worst recoveries in the game for sure. Getting up slowly. Ooh, I like that though. Very patient. There it is. Yeah, forward air finish. <laughs> Pulling those weeds. Get that out of my garden. Yeah. I didn't update the score, but it is 1 1 right now. Woo. Yeah, the, the Kazuya actually really putting in work for Sock in that, in that game. I knew the Kazuya was real mm -hmm. when uh, they hit the platform extension. I was like, oh, yeah. shoot, okay. okay. There's, <laughs> some, there's something here, yeah. Yep. Whereas I think uh, we just saw Fundy's Ken yeah. from J Dash. It was just, I play the game well, but I don't know what this character. Oh my god, we got a Steve. Do we reroll here? Oh, we don't. We're going in. I feel like J Dash plays Sheik too. <laughs> yeah. That I, and Byleth, like I feel like she can Byleth are characters that J Dash could definitely play, yeah. and, and probably get away with like a forward and back air Mega Man. Yeah, um, forward and back air Mega Man is pretty good. Yeah, those are good moves. Whereas I don't know what Sock's got on this Roy or Ice Climbers, and then Steve's a good character, but Steve's Steve's a character that I think is um, deceptively difficult to play. It depends on how you play. Um, if you can, building the wall actually it takes a little like practice, like getting good at doing the triple input really quick. 
If you don't want to do that, though, you can just run away. Uh, run away minecart and then knock him off the yeah. stage mine in those spots. He's just kind of a slow character. Yeah. Uh, and you can get kind of rolled over. You're not expecting it. Is this from... Or have you ever tried Steve? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like... I looked at Steve and I was like, I could do that. Easy. And then I tried him and I'm just like... The recovery is weird with the glide. You have that, like, old school Meta Knight glide. Uh... Uh, the block building is not as intu intuitive as you would think. Like, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure once you get all those things unlocked... You're fine. Yeah. You're fine, and and it's going to be very hard to deal with, but just picking up the character for a game is not wow. easy. But, oh, ow, Jer! So, with the Jer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, coming wow. out with that, uh, uh, jab back air from Sock knows the, the character, and I don't know why I would doubt Sock, but Sock's somebody who has been in a... Perennial character, like a character since launch, crisis since yeah. launch. <laughs> so has played everyone. Yeah. Oh, the F smash from J Dash gonna close the gap quite quickly. Actually, unfortunate for Sock had an opportunity to extend the lead, and now you're on ice climbers. Yeah. Very uh, interesting character to get in this sort of situation because it's kind of a specialty character. Yeah. Wow, but, but you're gonna convert out of the side B. The squall hammer. Sock gets it. Yeah. Yeah, I think actually that in these types of events, having character crisis is like actually pretty good because you've touched more of the cast typically. Yeah. Whereas somebody like saw a character day one was like, I'm playing this character, you know, they're gonna have much less experience with the cast. Oh, look oh, out. You're just gonna get up it right into it. Yeah. Popo's still alive. And you survived. Okay. Ooh, has to get back to stage. Okay. Here goes to ledge. But okay, just a dash attack. At this point, I think you just want as much extra credit as you can find. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Or not even extra credit, just as much damage on this stock. Yeah. Uh, so that you're setting up your last character. I mean, sure, let's say that you can find it with Solo Popo. That'd be awesome, but yeah, you, you, you got them up to 70. That's yeah. And now we're on Steve. <laughs> now we're on Steve. And now it's how real is it? Yeah, let's see. Got smacked out of the minecart. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Yes. Yeah, sorry, I had that answer. No, it's a. Yeah, we got it over here. Alright, so. Sock has to find this stock to stay in it. You got the power cable and everything too. Uh, it's in one of the. It might be in the. Uh, So getting back into it, uh, we're also like TOing the bracket and everything, so we might have to take little breaks here and there, but J-Dash is going to take it two to one. In a close set. It was a very good showing from Sock, but wasn't going to happen this time. Mish versus APT on stream. All right, so Misha and APT going to be coming on up to the stream. And they are playing random. Hey, how y'all doing? Um, AJ will be back up soon. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Preferably loud and close. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so fired. I can't believe you'd help out. The children put a monitor up and everything. That's how dare you. <laughs> I 
Yeah, no, yeah, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. Um, oh yeah, but we got Mish, Mish and APT coming up. Mish is going to be our... Oh, it's raining outside. It's raining outside. I was sidetracked by that. It's kind of pouring, actually. That's okay. Yes, I should. Squad strike. Coming up, this is kind of funny. So I was just about to say Mish is our resident, uh, Mish is our resident Kazuya main, but APT gets Kazuya on the random roll, gets Kazuya and Ken. APT's got a little bit of Kazuya, is what I'm hearing. Uh, no, but they're re-rolling. They're they're saying no. This is the first on-stream re-roll that we're getting, where they're not going to play those characters. So no reason to even talk about it. They're just going to get on out of there. Don't know who the next one's going to be. Who won? 2-1. Two, two I can I can do that from here. I got it, AJ. Emon 2-0. 2-1. I got it. Uh, Grog and Emon on setup one. It was 2-0. Grog and Iman set up one. Yeah, I just saw that everything happened at once, so I got you. Another reroll. Okay, so all rerolls have been used. So no matter what they get the next few games here, uh, the, the any games that come up, it's uh, it's over. That's it. Those are the characters. Squad <laughs> strike. <laughs> Steve. All right. This is it. Mish gets Inkling, Dark Samus, and Byleth. APT on the King K. Rool, Young Link, and Greninja. All right. So it is going to be the K. Rool coming out last for APT. Starting with the RVA special, Young Link. This character can't lose. What's up, Nelly Belly? Thanks for joining the stream. Mish starting off really strong with this uh, Dark Samus. Down tilt into a Nair. Oh, look at this. APT's seen RVA Smash before. Knows how to link these Young Link moves into each other. Down tilt into a forward air. APT actually taking the lead with those combos. And an arrow as well into a forward air. A lot of those two piece. Mish coming back with a forward air. Taking stage control. Not able to find the kill though. Uh, back throw. Mish putting APT off stage. The high recovery is going to get back aired. Oh wow, and yeah, comes down with the bag, uh, down air. Doesn't matter that it's not the spike hitbox, still hits APT off the side. But one forward air from APT, and that is going to be an even game. Mish coming out with Byleth, but APT's Greninja looking good. Mish going for the down air, but kind of pulls that trigger a little bit too fast.
back throw. Oh, the spot dodge. Very solid from ABT. Ooh, I really like that down to the up smash from ABT. Gonna be able to finish off that Violet and bring out the Inkling. This is gonna be Misha's last character of the game. Goes for the up throw up air. Kind of deceptively difficult to hit. Especially the later the percentage gets. It's a very tight input. In fact, to hit that Booyah, a lot of Inkling players change their controls specifically for that. Oh, locked in. But APT goes for the read with the down tilt into forward smash, not gonna be able to find it. Okay, gets the berry into the forward smash. APT at 100%, bringing out the King K rule. All, or Mish gets the forward smash, bringing out the KP rule. Uh, all APT really needs right now is one solid hit. There it is. Just a forward tilt, and that's going to be ABT taking the first game. All right, they're locked in. This is what it is. Villager, Ice Climbers, and Pikachu versus Wii Fit, DDD, and Banjo. Just completely off the wall oddball characters. J Money, Okami Fire, set up three. Wait, what just happened? I looked away just for a moment, and it's a uh, zero to death. I don't know if that was, it had to have been an SD, right? Mish? Mish's villager hasn't been hit yet. Why is the random villager today going crazy? This is wild. Only, still only 3%, by the way, on Mish. Okay, 50% all in one hit. All right, up smash from Mish, gonna take it. ABT down to last character. It's gonna be Banjo and Kazooie. Is he able to make some magic happen with these five Wonder Wings? Mish pockets the grenade. I know somebody that calls Wonder Wings privileges. And now you only have four <laughs> privileges left. Yeah. Three. Yeah, going to shield that Wonder Wing for sure. Gets a dash attack off of it. And jabs. Mish playing really safe with this villager, too. Yeah. Spacing ooh, well. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Man, that was just that, that nearly missed. I don't, I don't actually think it would have even killed there. No, I don't think so either. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, up smash out of shield, not connecting. I'm not sure if APT is going to be able to take this villager out. Yeah, this villager working pretty hard. Oh, yeah, buried into a bowling ball. That game was all Mish villager. <laughs> Mish, Mish now a villager main. All right, random, 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 random. Jigglypuff, Mega Man, Rosalina Luma versus Falco, Steve, Rosalina Luma. Two Rosas. <laughs> I feel like APT would have a Steve. I don't know. It makes sense. It somehow makes sense. 
AP Steve. AP Steve! <laughs> yeah. Does he? Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, see? Yeah, he's got a Steve. He knows. He just did 10 up tilts in a row. Uh, I feel like these these Rosa Lumas are going to be like, uh, what have I seen Viceroy do before? <laughs> huh? You <laughs> fight Viceroy? J Dash says this is Viceroy versus Chris at home. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yep, jumping in the minecart again. APT. Just kind of holding strong with this Steve. Has a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> Just minecarts right into Mish. Alright, the Mish Mega Man coming out. The Mega Mish. Yeah, this is, uh, again, I feel like the, the Mega Man that most players play when they get them on random is like a forward air, back air Mega Man. And Misha's doing a pretty good job of that. But, I mean, Steve, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. I think Misha just really has to finish off the Steve and still doesn't. I thought that that was it, but no. Up tilt, missing. Grabs, all missing. That's, that's going to be an up tilt. Uh, Sharukin, and Steve is out of there. All right, so the second Rosalina Luma of this game comes on out, but this time it's APTs. Does APT get this character a little bit better? And yeah, get a forward smash, and that's going to be... A stock lead is all up to the Mish Jigglypuff. I don't know why I feel like this is a character that Mish can play, but we'll find out. But APT gets Rosalina Luma. This is not an easy character, in my opinion, to just pick up and play. But good usage of the Luma. All right, Mish looking for the edge guard, not going to be able to find it. Luma back on out. Already 80%. Mish, oh, I like that. Mish just flies to the other side of the stage. It is Smashville, not a lot of room. Uh, or there's a lot of a lot of space to be able to do that. AB, oh, wow. Mish doing a very good job at edge guarding, but going for another attack, and APT is ready. Going to hold shield and just get an up smash. APT is going to take that set. Uh, Contro versus Tricky on stream. Mish versus Corey, uh, set up one. Yeah, I already called it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because by the time these other ones, like, losers doesn't, yeah. Cool. Squad strike. Yeah, this bracket's going really well. Huh? Yeah. I do like it. I do like random squad strike. It's, it's going really well. It's going smooth. And uh, I think everyone's having a good time. A lot of very fun characters coming on out. Um, so, let me, so, so let me ask you. Yeah. What are the characters that you don't want to get on Random Squad Strike? Uh, Bayonetta. Bayonetta, I think, is maybe one of the hardest to just pick up and understand how to ABK and Witch Twist combo. And so talking about running around and just using Smash Attacks. Yeah. Like, I think Bayo, you can't do anything out of throws. Like, I think Bayo might be the hardest. Uh, Shodos. I think are the hardest, like Ryu, maybe especially, like, yeah. like the super confusing to use if you are not used to them. I don't, um, know, I don't know any inputs. <laughs> no, I'll no. be trying to use the C stick and slow moves are coming out. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> some of the best ones are gonna be the like most standard, like like your like sorties, your Fire Emblem characters, your uh. How's your how's your uh, how's your Lucina? 
My Lucina is average. Very average. But we, very we average. Take those. <laughs> yeah, average is better than uh, Bayonetta. Like. That's fair. That's yeah, I feel the same way. And when I play random, I always want either a sword or a heavy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a heavy is good. Yeah, those characters that are like simple, like decent kill power or good straight hit kill power. Like mm -hmm. you don't have to confirm into a kill. Yeah. That kind of thing. Simplicity. I mean, like, uh -oh. oh, I didn't even set the teams. These are like both. Oh, we got a Bayo. Yeah. Is that Contro in the Bayo? Uh, let's see. Contro's tag is just C. So we shall see. And we shall see. Three, yes. Two, uh, no. Uh, no. Tricky got the Bayo. Tricky got Bayo, and, and that's, it's not surprising to me that he's stuck with it. Tricky plays a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah, he really does. I feel like Contra's team is very strong for random. I mean, I think the Terry might be the hardest one, but they do have a Terry over in Fredericksburg. So yeah. And, and Contra used to play Ryu yep. uh, in Smash 4. So I feel like that's okay. But then also getting Wolf and Diddy, I think it's just a... That's broken. A bro yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a broken. very good random team. But especially having having Wolf is, like, crazy. And, and yeah. Contro uh, is showing a little bit of knowledge. He knows how to charge the up B a little bit. Uh, yeah. We're talking a lot about Contro, though. Tricky. Almost unanswered damage right now. Yep. Other than one hit that he took. Activated go, though. Let's see if Contro can capitalize on the comeback mechanic. Because he's going to need it right now. Tricky playing fundamentally very well. Yeah, back throw not quite killing on town, but very close. But that one's going to hit the back air. Excellent back air. Yeah, to Tricky stock. only taking 26% for that stock. Yeah. yeah that was the, crazy. We got the wolf out. But, tr I mean, Tricky, we're talking a lot about Contro, but Tricky's also a very fundamentally good player and oh, yeah. plays a lot of characters, but plays a lot of oddballs. Mm -hmm. But his uh, banjo gave yeah. me a hard time in the tournament this week. Yeah, he's got a banjo that's so good. His snake is very good. His Bowser Jr. is excellent. Like, he's working just, on Shulk as well. Yeah. Also doesn't own the game right now because his uh, copy got stolen. His copy got stolen? Yeah, someone stole, well, they stole a Switch. They oh. broke into his car and stole a Switch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's so, so unfortunate. He's out here grinding when he doesn't even own the game. Yeah. <laughs> What's your excuse, Chad? Gets the reflector there coming down. Control on the wolf. Trying to get rid of this Mewtwo, but it's a legendary Pokemon. That is hard to take down. <laughs> oh, grown in a lab. And wow. making use of the big disjointed tail there to clean up the wolf stock. Now we're on the Diddy Kong. Contro did, I believe, win the New Year New You bracket with Diddy, right? Did he? I think It's he very did. possible. I think that was during his era of winning all the side brackets. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, that, oh, well, yep, banana to up, sm up smash. Yep, parry very up solid smash. confirm. We're on Meta Knight again. Meta Knight again. It's very interesting. This is the Brawl match right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this matchup a million times in my life. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not in this context, but. No, almost never. But <laughs> yeah. Weirdly, no, like, no one plays Meta Knight. No. Cool character, though, in, in Ultimate. Yeah. I think Meta Knight's cool. Especially just because you never see him. Yeah. That is true. If, if Meta Knight was still, like, the character that you saw nine out of ten times, you'd be, like, you'd be so sick of it. But. It's been years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Down throw, back air, nice little bread and butter for Contro. Yeah, forward air, it's a little bit extra damage too. Oh, forward air. Yeah, it's it's when uh, the other player DIs like out. Uh, instead of hitting that back air, you want to like go towards them instead. Get that forward air. Tricky playing this so well. All right, Tricky just kind of segmenting off the stage right now. Grabs the banana. Banana to jab. Why not? This is a punish. That's true. Yeah. Oh, but not gonna kill. This is why people don't play Meta Knight, I guess. <laughs> that up smash also not even hitting the shield. <laughs> Banana hitting Tricky from above. Contra at 138, but living in that up throw. Not gonna take it. Town is sitting very tall. Yeah, can anything kill the city right now from this Meta Knight? Nice, gets gonna get kick. monkey kicked. Right, tricky figuring out how to get up from ledge. Gonna use all of the jumps. Right, playing very patient. Yeah. Tricky flying in. Yeah, that should kill. Yeah. Barely killed. Wow. Yeah, we were in like anything kills, I think, territory right there. Tricky. A very good first game. The Mewtwo. We were, <laughs> yeah, the Mewtwo was going crazy. I mean, I think that that was such a strong kind of lineup for Contro, too. Yeah. Uh, and Tricky uh, did not care. Not at all. Nope. 
I, I kind of expected uh, the Contra Wolf to kind of like bring things back. But yeah, uh, I was I was expecting that too, but we didn't see it. This is another decent lineup, I think, for Contro. Uh, I mean, a Rob and a Corin, I feel like, still kind of align. I, I don't know what Contro's going to do with the Duck Hunt, but we'll see. Yeah. Olimar, which is a character that is very good, but you have to have to know how to play them. Yeah, so he got the weirdos again. Yeah, which he's <laughs> fine with. Yeah. He likes the weirdos. I mean, Wario, DDD, Olimar? That's, yeah. that's such a weird lineup, but I love it. Wario has a very simple combo game, uh, yeah. which is nice. But um, TDD and Olimar, I feel like are such specific zoners, like odd zoners. Yeah. Like if you got like, like you could zone with Rob pretty easily or Min Min or, you know, some characters that have like kind of easy bake zoning options. Sure, but Contra uh, playing aggressive with this. Yeah, right now he's not, he's not zoning at all. He's just uh, going in. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like Olimar is just such a weird. Going in right now, the down throw to up smash, not connecting. <laughs> oh, ramping towards him. Right, the doing wheelie. a wheelie. <laughs> oh, that Nair is going to connect. I think uh, Tricky was getting a little bit too hungry for that uh, air game. Yeah, honestly, like, maybe he had waft on the brain a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying to confirm into it. I think full waft was about to come up. If any character on this team screams tricky to me, though, it is Olimar. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Weirdly enough. Yeah. I mean, talking about how specialty is, but maybe that's why. Um, but Contro still doing a lot of work on this Rob. Rob's just such a good character and kind of an all-arounder. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the strongest characters in the game. It's the winningest character in Ultimate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, very good character. <laughs> I like that Tricky. I mean, Tricky knows to cycle these Pikmin, but I don't know if he I knows the that. order. <laughs> he know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he knows the order because he just got a yellow and a red. I don't know if that's what you want, anyways. Yeah, maybe uh, some specific map knowledge. I know some of them have different knockback and things. Uh, the purple very strong, of course. But when you're not at kill percent, maybe you don't want purple. Perhaps. Oh, the Contro Duck Hunt kind of scrapping right now. Yeah. Kind of an, I mean, like he's just trying with the can and stuff. It's like it's so interesting to watch because it's like so not the archetype of character that I would expect from him. Yeah. And right now, Tr Tricky kind of chipping his way back into this game on the Olimar, picking up so much damage. And Contro, I feel like he feels the need to, he's feel, kind of feeling the need to approach. He wants to end this stock because he's not sure how to do it with the projectiles. Yeah. He's, put, he's putting the can out just like as a, I guess this is what I do. Yeah. But so no real mix-ups with the can. Like you can hit the can towards them or throw them and then, you know, hit them with the can out of yeah. the throw. Yeah, but, I mean, you know, try. But, I mean, uh, Tricky's just brought this all the way back. Yeah. And we're in a position where very soon a blue up throw, I think blue up throw kills now. Yeah, I think so too. In fact, wow. it's a down smash. Tricky. Tricky yeah. Olimar, you called it. Yeah, the Tricky <laughs> Olimar. I had That's a it. feeling, but yeah, but we're down to an even game. Corrin versus DDD. What a weird matchup. Um, the Corrin feels up Contra's alley. Yeah. Uh, Funniest but, character. But DDD again, I mean, you get a heavy in these randoms. Like, yeah. That's not a bad pick. And DDD having one of the strongest ledge games uh, in Ultimate as well. It's based on, by virtue of Cordo and uh, lingering moves and things. Uh, not a bad character at all at the ledge. Very terrible in disadvantage. Oh, just runs up and hits him. Yeah, just the grab there. But Contro, he does understand Cora and fights Orange Lightning every week. That is true. And I mean, I feel like, again, it's a fire. You're getting a Fire Emblem character on it's random. Strong. It does, yeah. It plays very similar to 10 other characters. So. Oh, yeah. I like these from Tricky. These He's throwing out the Gordo. Yeah, up till, it, up up till gonna kill, and Tricky's gonna take the set. Basically a smash attack. That was crazy. J Dash and APT. Wow, yeah, that was that, a really good showing from Tricky, actually making it all the way into winner's finals. Yeah, that was fun to see. Olimar uh, and DDD? Olimar and DDD. I mean, what? that Olimar was going crazy. The DDD, very, very sound. Tricky's just uh, a player who has so many characters and who understands just the game. Yeah.
And you can see that in his movement, the baits he was using. Just very confident, very competent. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Yeah. My DDD Swap would not cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. My Olimar might be okay. I would just use like the sword moves, like the jump bear, jump bear, that kind of thing. Yeah. But as far as like knowing setups or whatnot, mm -hmm. I have zero. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about my my characters because I got I got like nothing. <laughs> I got Diddy, and then I've got a few others that I can kind of play a little bit. But yeah. But not not like these players are playing uh, multiple characters. I'm saying it's the the solo main curse. Yeah. In randoms is real, especially if you play a character with very specific game plans. Yeah. Like I feel like Diddy has a very like it, it plays unlike a lot of other characters. Mm -hmm. You know, you can like swing normals and stuff, but Banana such a good tool. Anyway, yeah, no the, Diddy here. No, they're I playing it out too. Uh, so J Dash starting off with Aegis. Also uh, feels J Dash to me. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Fast, a but live, speedy character with a sword. Yeah. But ABT with a Game and Watch, as you mentioned, uh, kind of a light character that with a lot of power. Not, oh, yeah. not too unlike Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, ABT doing very well with this Game and Watch. <laughs> APT getting very flat. Not actually helping him avoid any moves, though. Oh, but he was squishy looking. He sure was. Low to the ground, in fact. Yeah, Game Watch has a very good crouch. Uh, if Pyramids are one of the characters that actually can kind of deal with the safety that Game Watch has out of shield. Ooh, but roll in up smash? Rolls in, I think, was too little to get hit with the up smash. Too little. <laughs> to get hit with the up smash, because J Dash up smashed. I don't know if it was through the iframes or Game Watch was just too small, and APT just up smashed him for up smash. And for just a second, I thought J Dash got wolf, because this is the wolf, like, clone fox skin. Mm, yeah, you're right. I was like, oh, he got wolf, that's so broken. Yeah. But no, it's actually Fox, one of the characters that actually struggles the hardest against Game & Watch. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, the fox does not have any disjoints. No way to deal with, uh, no way to safely pressure Game Watch shield. So you have to go for a lot of grab. And if the Game Watch player is strictly playing reactionary, if they're like, I will just wait for you to come in and I will up you, uh, there's not a lot fox can do. Yeah, I mean, really struggling. I, I mean, tried to rip that up smash and not able to get it out in time. And that's really all J Dash needs is the one. But already almost 60%. Okay, APT. Just that playing a very straightforward Game & Watch right now, and it is working. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you usually think of Fox as a pretty fast frame data character, but we saw an up smash almost come out once or twice. Yeah. We saw an up air almost come out in Game & Watch moves, just stuffing them out. Yeah, Game & Watch has a ton of lingering moves, a lot of priority, and of course, uh, that up B. It, yeah. We've seen APT like pull the trigger on up B. Like, he, earlier, he threw out up smash, F tilt, and then just buffered up B. <laughs> and J Dash was like, now's my time to whiff punish. He got smacked away. Yeah. There it is again. Yep. You can't challenge that. Yeah, the, uh, the APT Game & Watch is uh, very strong right now. And they even, even back the You're town dead. air with the key. Oh, my goodness. APT <laughs> looks so locked in. Yeah. New, new <laughs> main? Yeah. Oh, we're on to Wii Fit Trainer with the deep breathing. This actually might be a better option than Fox because at least, you know, your next move will kill. <laughs> like, this character with deep breathing is so strong. Yeah. We actually I got Polo in the building as well. So both of the, you know, the, the passive buff. An actual, an actual Wii Fit Trainer, maybe? That's right. Not competing oh today, goodness. but just here to buff the Wii Fits. Going for the edge guard right now. Not able to find it, but I mean, so much damage. Yeah. Ooh, got the sour spot. Yeah, no deep breathing on yet. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, falling there from uh, Game Watch, <laughs> actually connecting cleanly there because Wii Fit is so tall. Is this supposed to be the, like the lightest character in the game, I think? Because that was a deep breathing ball and it did not, it did not the kill. The lightest character? Uh, Game & Watch? I don't think so. I think no. the lightest character is Pichu. Pichu, okay, you may, yeah. yeah. Game & Watch is bottom maybe, five. Maybe bottom, yeah. Very light for sure. I want to say he's like the same way as Sephiroth. Weirdly. Game and Watch. Well, I know Sephiroth is uh, Olimar weight. Olimar weight. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Olimar got that nose a little heavier. Than <laughs> a little heavier. Yeah, maybe has this, that space helmet. <laughs> oh, APT almost SDing there, uh, yeah. I think. But maybe understanding the limits of the recovery. This is still in the power of J-Dash to win this. If he oh, yeah. plays this outright. 
Uh, oh! <laughs> it's comboing. Be gone. All right, keep breathing right now on J-Dash. Not able to get in, though, and it's going to be gone soon. APT playing pretty fast, actually. Picking a lot of options. Kind of, like, moving well with all these random characters. Sephiroth, the same weight as Mewtwo and Kirby, by the way. According to Kotz in the chat. What's up, Kotz? So the whip, he is whipping. Yeah. Looking for the edge guard was spaced out at roll distance, where oh. you typically see the Simons, but usually and when you're playing random, you're just kind of doing what you see them do, not necessarily ready to do it. Yeah. APT not finding it, and the parry not hitting. Yeah, push off stage instead. Kind of a blessing for APT, but that, oh, that could be stock, but yeah. J Dash kind of playing it safe, not wanting to go for something that might whiff. J Dash again with deep breathing, wants to finish off the safety stock. Yeah. Oh, that's but it. yeah, that's, that's it. Oh. No, the DI is good. And the deep breathing Simon's. actually makes you have your heart. The ball? The <laughs> ball came out for one frame, and the cross is just like, boop. Yeah. APT. Looks like trying to make an upset in this bracket. Yeah, both players laughing about that. Yeah. That was pretty funny. <laughs> APT to mention too hasn't really been out uh, recently. Yeah, it has been out of town for school. Yeah, uh, coming on back and playing again. I don't know if he's been playing uh, where he's been at for school or not, but yeah, but I, I like, mean, it looks like it. <laughs> yeah, playing very well. Okay, they're gonna decide if they want to play this out or not. Uh, J Dash, Bowser Jr., Hero, and Luigi. Uh, APT, Dark Pit. Uh, Isabel oh, and Pokemon PT, Trainer. PT a good character to get, I feel. Yeah. Because you can, if nothing else, you can just play Charizard and nair them. If anything, <laughs> this seems like a rough team for J Dash. Yeah, I agree. If I'm J Dash, I'm probably rerolling that team. Three, yeah, I guess we'll find two, out. One, go! No, they can play it out. All right, going in right now. So J Dash starting off with Bowser Jr. Okay. Gets a little bit of a conversion there. The cart into the up air. Yeah. Kind of a classic Bowser Jr. combo. So if you know how to play, you can tell if someone knows how to play Jr. If, if they uh, understand how to cancel the side beat. Mm, if you yeah. see them go off stage or constantly doing the skid, that they're probably unfamiliar. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. Bowser Jr. is kind of a fun character, I think. Very fun character. <laughs> uh, hilarious, for sure. Yeah. One of the few characters in the game that can lick you. <laughs> I hate that down tilt. It's so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly. I also love that he just fights you with like dinnerware. Yes, I love. That. I do love like the forks and stuff. Yeah. It's just so silly. Oh, the jabs gonna oh kill that's for sure. a kill. Yeah, that's a very strong move at the ledge. J Dash very happy about that. <laughs> do you see that? His crouch makes it look like he's jumping up out of the cart. Wee, that's wee, amazing. Wee, 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 wee. I've never seen that. No, I haven't either. I love it. Yeah, J Dash kind of in his bag right now. Okay, we've seen a lot of villagers do very well today. Yeah, so. does the buff extend to Isabella? Yeah. Yeah, so far, just kind of keeping J-Dash at a distance with these uh, slingshots. You know, I didn't think this team would be that good for J-Dash, but J-Dash really making this Bowser Jr. work. Yeah. Ooh. And so far, uh, you know, not bad with these slingshots, but it doesn't do that much damage. No. It's only like four each time. And Bowser Jr. actually a very survivable, like pretty heavy character. Ooh. Stomps the balloon out. But right through the stage. Yeah. Again, popping those balloons, but too late. All right, put, bringing all of your tools to bear. Bust out the saw blade. It looks like Home Depot on this stage. Saw blades and <laughs> drills coming out everywhere. Yeah. What went, were you went building? through all those aisles. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a new refrigerator coming out next. I don't right. know. Right. We could. We, I wouldn't be surprised. Hit him with the whole hardware store. <laughs> the APT is doing his best to secure this stock. He looks very uncomfortable corner pressing with this character. Oh, my oh high profile the grab. Are you kidding me? Yeah. There we go. Starting to see some nares too from uh, APT. Isabel and Nair extremely good. And pockets the bully or not the bully ball. Yeah, the, the cannonball. Cannonball. APT kind of slowly sort of getting back into this. Yeah, you can see the comfort the comfort starting to set in, you know. He's like, all right, I understand the movement a little bit. And yeah. I'm going to get back to run, though. He's still alive. Just going to come right back to corner. And there it is. Back on stage. APT just standing still. Yeah. <laughs> Yowie! 
Oh, wow. finally. So Yeah, a, a good trade for APT. But APT had 150 yeah, and a hero coming out. This character can kill you by accident. You better look out. Okay. Snooze, right. snooze, I that's like it. it. Yeah. The, that's one of those like Bowser forward air esque moves that like hits behind him as well. A little because bit under. why not? Yeah. Yeah. Because hitboxes in this game. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, that forward air kind of slow, so you have to time it right. Uh, yeah. you, you, it's just you, massive though. It has yeah. actually very little lag, like end lag. Yeah. The High end start up low end lag. Typical sword move. Yeah. Kind of, kind of think, think like uh, forward smash from Wolf. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that move has. Yeah. It takes it takes a lot to wind up for it, but once the move comes out, it's you're, over. <laughs> you're very likely not really getting punished afterwards. Ooh. Just um, chucking out a thwack, and we're on Charizard. This is kind of what I thought we would see. Uh, Charizard is easy to play, has a lot of kill power, it's threatening. Let's see if APT. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really toying with the. Yeah. I was like, are you trying to parry yeah. that? Like. <laughs> Uh, oh, so many snoozes. This is like the fifth snooze already. Oh, you're out of mana and you're off stage. Oh, APT went oh, low though. Yeah, it went low. I mean, it's a, it's a good guess, but. Okay, nice. off stage again, but does have some mana this time. Oh, he looked for the dare. I thought he was going to try to uh, back air. I mean, that's going to be a great crit down too. smash. A crit down smash. He anti aired him with down smash? <laughs> what? Why not? Why not? I thought we'd see F smash for sure. Yeah. Down smash? I don't know. Maybe he wasn't confident that he was going to land on that side. I'm not sure, but maybe. Went for it anyways. J Dash gets on I'm, the board. I'm mad at that anti air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. All right, let's see what happens next. APT, uh, you know, kind of slowly trying to get back into that game, but uh, I feel like J Dash got a stranglehold in that lead. That Bowser Jr. just too good at the start. Okay, two Dark Samuses. Oh, do we A Young Link for APT. Do we play this? A Sonic for APT. 2 0. Uh, King K Rule and Richter for J Dash. They're talking about whether to re-roll or play. This is game three. Yeah, this matters. This is this is the rubber match, so. I'm really interested. I'm I'm interested to see if they play it out. The next match up would be uh, or ready would be Contra Sock. Do you want me to hold that? Uh no, because we'll just do three. winners finals next. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dumb. <laughs> good, Don't worry about good, me, chat. Good. Get okay, one. they're SDing it. They are re-rolling. Re I don't know whose decision it was, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious as to who was the one that was like, nah, I don't like they this. They got, yeah, I like the, they were trash talking because the characters were loading at different speeds in Squad <laughs> Strike. They were like, why am I taking longer? That's because you suck. That's because you suck. <laughs> if you were better about your character yeah. by loading quicker. That's, That's so really funny. funny. What's up, Mandelbrot? Fri friendly, friendly trash talk on stream. Friendly yeah. All right. So the reroll, uh, APT gets Peach, Inkling, Villager. J-Dash gets Pac-Man, Yoshi, Snake. I don't know what to think about this. I mean, another Villager we've seen... So many players get Villager and also Isabel. We'll see if we'll see if they play it out or if they reroll. One reroll left. Appreciation. All right, here we go. Small battlefield. Are they gonna play it out? Yep, this is it. APT starting off. Inkling. With a Pac-Man for J-Dash. I feel like Pac-Man would be a good character for J-Dash too, because Pac-Man has a lot of up-close combos and a little bit speedy. I like the splatter shot from a long distance. Why not? Yeah, Pac-Man is also very easy to play. Uh, I, uh, I've i gotten Pac-Man a few times on random, mm -hmm. and the Nair out of shield being framed, like freaking frame three, is he's insane. Um, yeah, he's a very fast and very good brawler, which you wouldn't necessarily think. Yeah, so, uh, but he also plays back, so he forces approaches with whoa. the fruit, and that's gonna be a, such an early stock, such an early, such a strong F match. Yeah. But he forces approaches with like, the fruit and the hydrant, and then once you're trying to get on top of him, he just nares you, and you're like, oh, I'm in a combo. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and ABT maybe not familiar with the angle that the fire hydrant gets launched because he's gotten hit with that a few times now. Yeah. Also, uh, Pac-Man having one of the best grabs of the game, one of the only grabs that beats Spot Dodge. Yeah, uh, you you can absolutely spot dodge that. Sometimes you can attack into it and then still get grabbed. Yeah, it is very strong. We'll see if 
ABT can bring it back on the Peach. Kind of a tough, now this to me is a tough character to get in random. Like, yes. you know, if you don't know how to use float and whatnot, like it's a broken character, but you kind of have to understand what's happening. Yeah, kind of a specialist character. Uh, but APT doing very well on this Peach. Yeah, he's playing uh, very patient. Yeah, has taken almost no damage since getting Peach. Yeah, oh. a Glassian combo, but comes back with a dash attack. Not enough to kill, but good damage puts Jadas in a bad spot. Oh, that okay. uh, B went through the turn. Oh. oh, wow, the dash attack connected, but not the last hit of it. So he got no so knockback. So lucky. And again, another Hydrant hits. Okay. Looking for a grab, barely whiffing. Yeah, just Fox trotting back and forth. That's it. Yeah. Looking like oh, T, yeah. what in the world? <laughs> yeah, just just held that. Okay, so it's down to the villager right now. Again, the villagers, we saw some very good ones on stream earlier in random. Can APT villager cook? Yeah, let's find out. I feel like a the APT's- The Isabelle work, so. Yeah, the, the Isabelle was uh, very slingshot heavy, but not, uh, not able to find the, the hits he needed. Oh. Oh, so you can hit that, uh, the the big dot. I yeah. don't know what you call it. From the power pellet. The power pellet. You are correct. That's right. Uh, you can hit the power pellet, and then Pac-Man just stops chasing it. It's like a horse carrot situation. Yeah, exactly. As long as it's there, though, Pac-Man is hungry. <laughs> He's so hungry for power pellet. <laughs> hungry for power pellet. Oh, oh, pockets the hydro. Oh, I Wait, thought it was swing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't swing it. It just no. It sits just puts there. it back Anybody down could, again. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I agree. Kind of like not a lot of advantage for having it, especially Dude, with Villager because I think it just blocks your attacks. You want to get the Lemon probably or the the Bell, whatever you, whatever that is. If you take Fruit from Pac-Man, he can't use it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you pocket that, Pac-Man just becomes like a fruitless character. <laughs> fruitless endeavors. Fruitless endeavors for Pac-Man. Uh, 191, but APT is not finding this kill. There it is. Full Sling stage. <laughs> yeah. Slingshot up close does a lot oh, of knockback. Oh, the T-back? Whoop. <laughs> just runs up and down tilts. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> J-Dash feeling himself. Yeah. What? Look, he's like, I don't have to approach. But honestly, a villager in the snake might not be that bad. You've got the pocket. Yeah. I mean, we're Listen, talking. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to make it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he's alive. Wow, that big head of villager. So so chunky. Oh, the Nikita. The Nikita, I think, just goes to the distance. Oh, yeah. He just yeah. dropped it instantly. Dropped it. Quick, uh, quick 19. Yeah, this is 166% uh, damage <laughs> against two characters that yeah, are fresh. You get We're grabbed. being real here. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're dead because it's guaranteed into absorption this percent. APT kind of playing well right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> is it too little, too late? Probably. But, uh, yeah. I mean, 180%. Very soon, he's going to get hit by like the most random move and die. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Pivot grab into the up tilt. Very good stuff. Yeah, J Dash is saying. <laughs> That's so funny. Very well played from J Dash. Yeah, and now we're going to have Tricky taking the stage. We get Tricky versus J Dash on stream. And Tricky making a run, the five seed. Yeah. You know, we kind of expected J Dash to get here. He's the two seed today, so. Uh, Shoutouts to Tricky on the other side for making a freaking run. And another interesting case, in losers right now, fighting for uh, already guaranteed fifth place is Sock, who has made a bunch of upsets of 10 seed. Mm -hmm. Already beat Mish and Corey. APT or Mish and J slap. Money, set up two. You took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was definitely a, the grab is lava case. All right, so winners finals. Yep, Tricky versus J Dash. Tricky, a character, a, plays every character. Just very good at that. What's up? Uh, plays Tricky. every character in the game. J Dash yeah. also has like a, a handful of characters. You know, we, a, a multi-character. They both kind of got 
characters that suit them, I think. I agree. Uh, no mains necessarily, but J Dash with a zero suit, Sheik, and Roy. That's like. Oh yeah. That's so J Dash. And then Tricky that's with a, so a, a. I mean, it is. I think J Dash is like <laughs> a wolf. I agree. Uh, zero suit. Uh, I mean, J Dash kind of plays what Joker, Wolf, mm -hmm. like Mario. Um, These running gun type characters like uh, like Zero Suit. Yeah. Kind of dash in, dash out, poke at you. But Tricky with a Ness, Ganondorf, Donkey Kong, like a bunch of goofballs. That feels scary. Yeah. It feels tricky. It feels tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, uh, I don't know who's going to take it, but this is going to be a fun match. I lost it. <laughs> All right, Contro actually probably taking off Sock, but good run for Sock, getting all the way to fifth. That's the 10 seed, not bad. Hall of Bastion is the first stage as well. It is nice to see the random stages just because we see all the different stages. It doesn't feel too out of place, kind of like the items bracket we had where we saw Pirate Ship a lot, which was a I lot of fun. <laughs> Pirate oh, Ship is so awesome. A lot of fun, but also this, this feels normal without being just PS2 over and over. <laughs> Look at the two frame, not going to hit it. Maybe, maybe not the easiest two-frame to hit, too, I think. Now, what I will say about Zero Suit, uh, the character can struggle to kill if you don't know how. Um, yeah. But Ness kills you by accident. Like, Ness can kill you with every move in their kit at, like, 100%. I agree. And if it gets over that percentage, then you can just back throw anyways. Back throw will kill from center. And that up air Whoa. actually just going to kill. The DI was good, too. Yep. It didn't matter. That up air is so strong. Ness has way too much kill power. Talk, <laughs> talking about a character that can struggle to kill if you don't know how. I mean... This character <laughs> is going to kill anyways. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this character is very close. This is like what Joker was based off of almost. Yeah. Uh, and considering that J-Dash is a Joker main, uh, I don't think that this is a bad pick. Yeah, the way he's moving right now, too, looks <laughs> very confident. Just dashing around, doing a bunch of empty movement. Got to see at the Arcadian yesterday some Conkydorf play, which was a oh, lot I of fun. I love watching Conkydorf. Yeah. <laughs> he's, such a, he's such a read heavy player, but he's right so often that it's crazy. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Ooh, gets the combo Ooh. going, but gonna get punched out of disadvantage from Ganon. Honestly, like, if I had a choice between these two, I'd rather play Ganon. <laughs> yeah, oh, same. Yeah. Same, absolutely. And I mean, Tricky, I'm sure, too, because Tricky finishing off that Sheik with ease. Oh, but now we got Roy. This character is very simple to play. Tons of power. Yeah. Uh, can definitely equalize with the Ganon. Yeah. Like Ganon might be done like once you get into one juggle scenario. Yeah, Tricky having a hard time putting any damage onto this Roy. Yeah. So much pressure coming out. In fact, a lot of times, yeah, where J Dash will pick the Ooh. wrong option. Oh my god, a stomp to back air. Very spicy. Tricky! <laughs> Tricky! <laughs> Jeez. The F smash. He leaving did Roy cleanly did in two. Him. That teenager got chopped in half. That's crazy. In a Nintendo game. <laughs> Rated M for mature. Rated M for mature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was do that. Same. Yeah. You ever noticed that when, uh, back, I don't know if you remember this, but like back in the day when they would do movie trailers, at the end they would say the rating, and the uh -huh. slower and happier they would say it, the less the rating. So it'd be like, rated yeah. G. Rated G Rated PG. Yeah. Rated PG-13. Rated R. <laughs> <laughs> There's always like this man with a quick, low voice. Yeah, like, you're right. <laughs> I never thought about that, but you're right. They had to scare you. Yeah, they rated did. R. They had to let you know. If you're a little kid, this movie will kill you. Also, don't <laughs> smoke cigarettes. Don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Surgeon General says, yeah. rated R. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, this time. Speaking of rated R, is that? Okay, no, it's, it's tricky. Uh, no. Okay, I, was, I, I thought J Dash got Joker, and I was like, you better re roll. <laughs> yeah. So Tricky's got the Joker. J Dash with the Greninja, I think, would that be a good character for J Dash? Yeah, another like low to the ground, speedy character. Much, much like Fox. We saw Fox out of J Dash earlier. Uh, the character has a very similar game plan, largely based around Nair Dash attack. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I keep talking about like these characters would be good for Tricky or that good for, you know, whatever. I think Tricky's just good with anybody. Yeah, what if it's what if Tricky's just kind of broken? Yeah, <laughs> he's just very good at the game. <laughs> yeah, turns out. Fundamentally very strong. Yeah. And I think he enjoys playing a lot of characters. He's put a lot of hours to it as well. So. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where maybe he'd be more consistent in bracket if he had like one character. I, which believe, I think he plays too many characters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Running Shulk now too. Running Shulk as well. I mean, it's really putting a lot into the snake, but I mean, with how fundamentally good he is, I wonder if just picking a character that's more broken. down the line fundamental. Yeah. Or, or uh, I was, I was gonna say just like outright broken. Like if I, if like I was, I feel like with tricky skill. Yeah. No, oh, I hope not, Steve. But uh, 
uh, like like Joker. Like tricky sure. on Joker to me would be very scary. Or tricky on Aegis. Roy. Roy. Or Aegis, yeah. yeah. To give him like a really broken uh, character with like strong neutral and like mm -hmm. obvious win conditions and kill power. He might just be strong and still having fun. I think so. I think so. Yeah. And he always seems, seems to be having fun. I don't think I've ever seen him salty. No, yeah. I agree. Down smash? What? Down smash. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it poked her, if the shield was just let up, but J Dash with the Bowser. I feel like J Dash could finish this Joker off very quickly with this Bowser. Yeah. Uh, Bowser actually a weirdly decent character into Joker just because like you can there accidentally kill him out of a disadvantage. Yeah. And that's a great pivot cancel forward tilt from J Dash. Yeah. An example of what you're talking about too. Just a good character to have an advantage state. And J Dash, uh, I'm sorry, Tricky was just stuck over this Bowser. Tried to land and yeah, running forward tilt. Yeah. Flame Breath, not going to connect cleanly. That can do so much damage. Nice uh, Nair knockdown to down tilt. Ooh. <laughs> Hit him with the aerial smash attack. Oh, yeah. Tricky trying to get back up. He might die. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Krom. Over. The curse of Krom. The curse of Krom, yeah. The curse of Krom. C-H. C-H-U-R-S. <laughs> the curse. The curse of Krom. Of Krom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new Fire Emblem game coming out on the yeah, that's right. Mobile. Whoa! He's gone. Oh, that was a crazy uh, connection there. Yeah, and he's dead. It's over. Oh my gosh! Did the you J see Dash the Bowser? He hit him with a nair, read the air dodge out, dash forward, down smashed it immediately before he grabbed the ledge. Jeez. Bowser down smash actually pretty fast. Yeah. Uh, well, Bowser fast. kind of a faster character well, than you would expect. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Sure. I think uh, Bowser is so good. Yeah. What a good character. I think the the. The main, the main drawback is that Bowser just gets juggled. But. Oh, yeah, hard. But honestly, that just gives him rage. So it's not the worst case scenario. Oh, please play Piranha Plant. I love this. Yeah, yeah. J Dash, again, not a bad team for him, I think. Captain not Falcon, Violet. Oh, oh re okay, reroll. I'm, I'm sad. Re rolling it. Yo, what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was a reroll. I don't know who's doing it. Little Mac, Inkling, DDD. We saw we saw Tricky with DDD earlier. Played very well. J Dash with Yoshi, Bayonetta, and Samus. Um, uh, interesting lineup. I don't I don't know. I think Bayonetta, as I mentioned earlier, might be one of the hardest player characters to play on random if you're not familiar. Uh, I don't know what the J Dash Samus or Yoshi's lo Yoshi looks like. On the flip side, we saw Tricky's DDD very good. I don't know what his Inkling or Little Mac looks like, but it looks like they're playing this one out. Game three, this is what it comes down to in winners finals of the random squad strike side bracket. Bayonetta gonna be the anchor. Going to final destination as well. Uh, I wonder if Little Max gonna be strong. I'm sorry, I thought Bayonetta was anchor, but Bayonetta's come out first. Uh, I'm a big Little Mac fan, as long as you understand how to get back to stage. I think Little Mac is just such a strong character, um, especially in a situation like randoms. You just don't wanna, you don't wanna get gimped. You don't want one of your three characters to, to get gimped in this situation. Whoa, another up smash. Oh, goes for the up smash instead of uh, trying to read which side. Tricky, gonna try and get back on the stage. Has a KO punch, doesn't necessarily need to use it to be. Ah, uh, yeah, lets it rip, and the end lag on the KO punch is very long. Tricky just throwing out these forward smashes, not quite hitting. It's gonna be another forward throw from J Dash using the gun. Tricky coming in with an aerial. I don't know if that's the way you wanna play it. Tricky having a hard time landing these hits. J Dash keeps throwing Tricky off, but not able to get these edge guards. Looking for the gun again. Tricky gets another chance on stage. Forward smash, but gonna get the shield. A second KO punch. Ah, lets it rip again. Gonna get dash attack for it. Both players look a little bit uncomfortable on these characters with the down smash. Gonna flip around and hit J Dash. Taking out this Bayonetta. It is now the Yoshi. But 171% for J Dash just wants as much extra credit, I think, as possible. Whoa, I love that. Getting up to 52% now. 
Can Tricky get back from this? The answer is no. 52%. Some decent extra credit. DDD out next. Tricky's DDD pretty good from that last time that we saw it in random. J Dash, I think, gonna play a little bit more patient. Ooh, Nair to back air, though, from Tricky. Holding center stage. Whoa, Gordo and the down tilt both hit. I like the grab. And the Gordo not quite killing the DI's very good. Okay, back air not gonna hit. Gordo not gonna hit. J Dash finally getting some hits in. Tricky looking for back air, not gonna find it. <laughs> Gets the inhale into a forward air. Tricky. Taking J Dash's stock. J Dash down to just a Samus left in this winner side bracket. All right, a good up tilt. Another Nair to back air. Kind of a bread and butter that Tricky's been showing. Gordo hitting. Up air, is that gonna kill? No, not even sending J Dash off at the top. Oh, the down air connecting too. This is a lot of damage on the Samus. J Dash trying to figure out how to get this DDD out of here. Inhale, and that Gordo being spit out is absolutely gonna take it. Tricky finding himself in winner's side. Grands. In a very close set, but very well played. Uh, all setups are open, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. All right, so we got Slap on the mic right now for the end of the side bracket. How are you doing, Slap? Pretty good. Uh, J Money and Contro about to face off in loser semifinals. All right. Uh, Contro was Contra's upset been... earlier by Tricky, and Tricky's uh, upset his way all the way into grand finals. Yeah, I saw um, that. Yeah. Uh, whereas J Money making it all the way up as well. Um, projected to be here. All right. So whoever wins this goes to J Dash. Yeah, I'm gonna J -Dash fight J Dash in losers finals. J Dash, J Dash was playing so well. Yeah, very good play. Uh, it's really nice to see the players with very strong fundamentals. Yeah. Showing up in this uh, random squad strike bracket where you just have so many characters that you might not be familiar with. Have yeah, to play I them all. I feel like randoms really makes you have to adapt, mm -hmm. in my opinion. All right, going into Squad Strike after they got their controls all set. Three three. Ooh, you know what? Uh, I know uh, Nomad's not on commentary right now, but the Squad Strike rule set is called Circuit Smashdown. <laughs> so we're going all the way back to when me and Nomad threw random Squad Strike brackets at the Circuit Arcade Bar uh, way back in pre-COVID. That's crazy. Yeah. All right, so we got ancient history. Ancient history. <laughs> ancient history. So we uh, got Link, Dark Samus, Yoshi versus Lucas, Ken, and Krom. Yeah, I'm not sure who. Okay, so J Money is the one with the Yoshi, Samus, and Lucas. Contro. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's Link. Uh, Contro's got Lucas, Krom, and Ken. Yeah. Uh, they're just kind of sitting on the opposite sides. I'm pretty interested are. to see how um, the Ken is. Yeah, um, Contro was a Ryu main back in Smash 4, okay. so I think he can use this Ken. I think uh, he could probably use him pretty efficiently. Yeah, but J-Money uh, doing pretty well on this Yoshi as well, kind of outweighing that up smash from Contro. Oh, the PK Fire coming through, but Yoshi with the armor on the jump. Going to be able so to just eat, it, eat it anyway. That was a good air dodge read. Yeah, both players kind of playing center stage, kind of trading back and forth. Oh, I really like that weight from Contro. He could have <laughs> up smash or something there. 
I think so. I think he wanted to see what yeah. J Money was gonna do, and J Money just sort of landed. I think he was like looking for uh, air, uh, air dodge. Yeah. Ooh, I like the grab. Throwing Contro off Good and there. getting in the air. Taking the first stock from Contro. Here comes the Ken. <laughs> so he could have actually probably done a lot more with pressure with Ken there. Ken is so good at pressuring. Yeah, just holding that down tilt. Yeah, but, and you know. um, I forgot the kick. It's like the one that shield breaks. Oh, yeah, could have gone with that too. Yeah, break that egg. That. Uh, yeah, Random, sure. But good. Sure, he could definitely take it. All right, this matchup for Ken is so tricky. I've been playing him a lot recently, and it is—it's not fun for Ken. I believe that, but if but Ken can get in like this, yeah, do some if damage. he can just stay in his face, it'll be good. In fact, J Money kind of playing close up. Yeah. Yeah, J Money playing this well. In fact, playing kind of aggressive, but still with projectiles. Yeah. So, a little fun fact. So, the first up tilt, if you, with Ken, if you hit it with the first light and then do it heavy, you are stuck in shield stun. Okay. And then after that, it's a guaranteed shield break. Oh, okay. J Money saved the jump. I think he was too scared to show you can there with the up tilt. Oh, a plank? Good Shuriken. This is uh, Contra bringing it there back and in fact getting that Shuriken. Not going to kill, though. That was a good DI. I think next one kills. Yeah, next one will definitely kill. Back throw. I love the Ken back throw just because of how true it is to like Street Fighter 2. Yeah, like he does the double roll compared to Ryu's. Yeah. Really nice touch, I like. I also like the parry sound. That they oh, yeah, that. that <laughs> right there, yeah. Calling it out right before it happens. Alright, so we got Link. So who's after this? Krom? Yeah. But, yeah. So Krom well, is after Ken. Yeah, the Krom comes All out right. next. Uh, and we've seen the Krom a couple times, but the Krom has been getting exploited. Yeah. Uh, that recovery is so linear and so easy to two-frame. It's so... Uh, I think you can actually, if you time it right, you can grab him while he's doing the up up beat. It's so weird. Yeah. But J Money has to get this Ken out. Oh, yeah. That's not broken like we see in Young Link. <laughs> yeah. Only has the initial hit. Oh, the down air, though. All right. Here comes the Krom. Krom feels like it would be a character kind of in Contra's wheelhouse. Yeah. Just a very fundamentally sound and strong character. It's very quick. But That's an interesting update. Again, J-Money really just needs to knock him off and find the two-frame. I think he can bring this back, I would say. Yeah, it's it's possible. It's possible. But it, it's, it's in tr a tricky spot right now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. J Money's comfort with Zel uh, with Link. He's just kind of playing a, a normal game, kind of yeah, a fundamental. Yeah, it, it feels like he's treating him more like a normal sword. Yes, exactly. Yeah, there go. And Contra's gonna find the hit. All right, Contra going up 1-0, looking very strong. So what do we got? So we got. So Jay's got Kirby, Biolith. I think J Money, he, I think he's secondary is Biolith. Uh, both of them get a plant. I think that's <laughs> very funny. <laughs> I think I think J Money, he secondary is Biolith, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's number 87. But yeah. RBASmash.com goes straight there. Um, the plant coming out first for J Money. The plant coming out last for Contro. Something of note too that I would assume from Contro is that the way that he plays Squad Strike regularly is that he doesn't even pick the order of his characters. He just presses the D-pad in random. <laughs> uh, so like, uh, in random Squad Strike, I would assume that he's just doing it. It's just thing. random. Like, why not make it even more yeah. random? Your opponent doesn't know what you're going to try and do if you don't know what you're going to try and yeah. do. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. They don't know what I'm doing. So, Bayonetta 
Uh, again, we've seen Bayonetta a lot in this random bracket, and I still stand by that I think they're the hardest character to play in random. If you uh, don't, yeah. yeah, if you don't know how this character works. Uh, but Contra seems to have a pretty good grasp. He's, he's doing some APKs and things in the air. Viola, uh, not Viola, Bayonetta is definitely one of those characters you have to know yes. how to play to play it really well. Bayonetta is pretty hard to play, I would say. The coins come but, out. Yeah, J Money's plants doing some work. Ooh. Okay, Contra with the Corrin. Very good back air. Well timed. So bio, the bio is coming out. I'm surprised he didn't put the bio with last. Yeah, anchor with it instead of going with the Kirby. Yeah. I'm sure to see how confident he is. Either that or it was on accident. Yeah, J Money. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, is a Kazuya main, but for a long time was a bio main. Also, uh, was kind of co-maining them for a while. Now most of the time you'll only see uh, Kazuya, Kazuya, but it's Kazuya. and for good reason. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. J Money definitely knows by lift. I mean, who doesn't at this point? <laughs> we'll see if this really works out for J Money with the because right now, Contra in a very good spot has stage control, making it very hard. Contra is really looking for that kill right now. I see him throwing out like two bears at once, or twice. Oh, yeah, oh, that's good up Yeah, that's a stock. Uh, I feel like I see B Crop do that a lot with Byleth. Um, looking for, after, once the percentage allows Byleth to spike with that up B, uh, just kind of trying to shark under the stage with it. Ooh, that was close. And there it is again, another good spike. I think <laughs> side B might have been a little better choice. I'm not 100% sure because they could have sent him off stage. Oh, oh whoa. I was killed. Down air, yeah. All right, he's going to be. There right, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Very good from J Money getting on the board. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a J Money main in a random situation. Yeah, that's that's what you want. Yeah. Uh, hey AJ. Thanks. Huh? No, yeah, you're good. I just uh, didn't know. I just saw you talking over there. I saw someone got Kazuya. Uh, yes. So Kazuya okay, on J Money. Kazuya. What's up? Other oh, rerolling. Oh, you, uh, you can either pay uh, up here with card, or you can pay online, like on the website. If you want to do it on the website, that's fine too. Uh, but it'll, like, the instructions are on the website. Uh, yeah, yeah, AJ will do it after he's checking in and everyone else. All right, so it looks like they're re rolled. They re rolled. Uh, that makes sense because J Money got uh, Kazuya, okay. and there's no reason no, I think for a Contra to come on. I think Contra actually got Kazuya. Oh, did he? Oh, because they're switched again. Oh, okay. Squad strike. So Contra got in Sin, Simon. Yeah. I have a feeling, yeah, the Sonic is going to go last. Okay. Interesting teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh? Wait, what is... Wait, wait what's happening? Oh, the, the, the Mishima did jo Jojo. <laughs> yeah, that's been the entire day. We had the, the players who played first do the right stages. Just pick the same teams and line up. All right. uh, my favorite stage. Yeah, the, the players who played first changed the stages to be legal, but I guess just missed that one. <laughs> Everyone forgets. Huh? They got... They got uh, uh, the it was Mishima Kazuya Dojo. Stage. Yeah, it was the Mishima Dojo. Yeah. My favorite my favorite stage. We should legalize it. Yeah, so I do. So because this was game three and nobody re rolled, yeah. uh the my the determination here uh was take that stage off, uh re roll the stage, but pick the same characters in order. Yeah. I hope they remember who they got. Yeah. Because I didn't. Squad strike. So they got 
So I think Jay got Puff. Yeah, Puff. They're both trying to figure it out. Marth and um, yeah. Sonic. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, you got another setup too? Alright, starting it off on small, small battlefield. battlefield. Okay. Again, this is game three. Uh, all of side bracket is best of threes. Imagine if someone got the double C when it just hit <laughs> that time. That is such a funny jab, Isabelle's. Yeah, I really like it. Kind of holds people in place, too. Does it combo into anything? Um, I don't think so, but I think it just, like, if you get it in certain spots, you can hit it. It, like, okay. combos into itself for okay. a long time. You know, like a small bit of pop just from watching the Hungry Box playing all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's gonna get back. But J Money having a hard time on this puff. There's a Lloyd Rocket sitting there waiting, but Contra not gonna activate it. Contra, Contra getting the up air. Really look for that kill. Puff is really light too, so. Yes, At very point, light. One of the lightest. I do like the delay with the up air there. Okay, the Lloyd Rocket's gone now. Oh! Tilt. Yep, hits from ledge. <laughs> yeah, forward tilt, the parasol. So we're going to take out J Money. The Marth is out. I feel like the Marth could clean up this Isabel pretty quickly if. If he plays right. Yeah, if J Money finds the right hits. Marth is pretty difficult to play, I would say. He requires a really, really a lot of good spacing. Yeah. Oh. Oh! I thought he SD'd there for a this second. This is the legend. Another high one. This Does might be jump? J Money's stock. Yeah, yeah, it's a stock. Yeah, that high recovery. Jump, uh, not what J Money needed, but Contro really taking advantage of that and finding the stock. That was really good, though. J Money, uh, Sonic might be his last character here in this bracket, unless he can take I mean, three stocks with it. I mean, Sonic, all right. Yeah. Good bear. There's the start. I mean, Sonic is pretty busted, so he could bring this back. That is true. But I don't think we're going to see, like, that patient Sonic, like, like at Momocon all weekend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we're going to see, uh... Unless J Money's inner Sonic decides to come out. A lot more aggressive Contro. Going to be trying to do the mayor, I think, and use Incineroar. Okay, a three-hit combo. That is so scary, again, being on top of this set because of his juggle. Oh, oh, wow, that still connected. Side B is really large. Yeah, J Money gets back to stage. Trying to play this very patient and safe. Down tilt. All right, could be it here. All he really needs to get is probably a bear or maybe a fair. That's side IB connects. Oh. The up version not killing. Ah, yep, that backer go. is going to connect, yep. and that is Contra taking the set two to one. Let's go. Who's playing right now? Right? Um. Squad strike. Is this losers? Oh, okay. Oh, right here. Yeah. Ten dollars. I guess they didn't want the Steve. Oh yeah, you got put no man there. No man the goat working. Squad. 
What's up, Yo, hanging out with Slap on the mic. We got losers finals. J Dash versus Contro. Contro, the one seed, making a little bit of a losers run after getting upset. Winner side. So they've already re-rolled, actually. So already. I yes. wonder who used it. Uh, I want. I either. I think it was the person who got Steve, which was. Con. <laughs> Probably Contro, yeah. yeah. Contro, like, he always said if he ever got Steven right, I mean, he would just would <laughs> SD. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we got Contro with, uh, I mean, an interesting team for sure. Game & Watch, We Fit, and Doc. I have a feeling that Game & Watch might sweep here, but it's but you never know. Yeah, I feel like, actually, like, I've never seen this matchup. <laughs> I, I've... I think I've seen, you know, Big D? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think I've seen him play. I mean, he played really well. Oh, Big D is... Big D, yeah, they just got picked up actually by a sponsor. Yeah, That's yeah. Luminosity Gaming, right? Yeah. Another Luminosity player. I love Big D. Me uh, too. I think Ice Climbers are really cool. A very unique character in the game. Oh, oh my but god. Right now, Jay <laughs> Dan watched the Game Watch special. Yep, getting so much out of this juggle game so far. Alright. Oh, okay, Down that there. was yeah. probably not favorable. Dead. I wonder if um, Contra knows how to do I. I, it doesn't look like it. Um, I, I, think, there. I think I saw him do something unintentional. But yeah, yeah. I, I feel like most people, if they get this character on random, they will get E-Syncs, but it's not the kind of purpose. But he's on the Banjo right now. Yeah. So let's, let's see if uh, his inner Okami might come out. Banjo, and is that, oh, is that Korn at the end? I thought, it's, I thought it was Sheik for a second. I was like, oh, that's broken. Because yeah. Contro main Sheik for a long time. But Did he? Oh, yeah. His, his Sheik terrorized many I, people. I was thinking about picking up Sheik as a secondary at one point, but he just did not do it. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, down smash, F smash. That's true, by the way. <laughs> true combo. That's a confirm. Literally, down smash can combo anything with Game 1. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, like, down smash into punching your opponent in real life is true. <laughs> exactly. You'll get kicked out and lose the set, but it's true. It is a true combo. Yeah. Oh, looks for the Nair yeah. extension. Teching is very important when you're playing platforms against Game & Watch, because Game & Watch gets so much off the platform. Yeah. J-Dash looks very comfortable on Game & Watch right now. And the character is, like, very easy to play, in my opinion. But, yes, uh, very oh, much so. Very easy to play, but the movement's kind of odd. But J-Dash looks like he's, like, actually kind of moving a little bit. <laughs> Burning him with the pin. All right, Corrin. If Corrin can take this... Uh, take this out right now. There's still a chance, but the more percent you get, Ooh. you lived. Oh my gosh! The more percent you get, of course, the harder it gets to come back. And that's gonna be finally ending the stock of the F2. Even though Game and Watch is like incredibly light, I feel like he, he takes so long to actually die. Mm-hmm. Agree. All right, we think train is coming out. Especially because I feel like Game and Watch usually has stage control. Yeah. When he doesn't, he'll just up B over you or. Oh. Are you dead? The sun yeah. salutation at the ledge. What? Sun salutation. That's gonna be a strong game one for J Dash. What's crazy about uh, what's crazy about that was just the oh, amount of work that the game and watch put in. All the the, <laughs> the we had to do was press B one time. The, the amount of <laughs> pressing, moving the C stick, pressing the A button, the B button, you know. Oh yeah, oh, the okay. game and watch was cooking. Casio, right, what did he get? All right, I'm very confident in Casio. Casio is. Contra shouted out something from the stage. Oh, God. <laughs> He's like, Kazi about to go crazy. <laughs> Kazi is about to go crazy, guys. Trust, trust. We'll see. Oh, my God. I feel like Contro has never played Kazi. <laughs> I played him a bit. How you doing? Three, All right. Two, yep. Olimar. Olimar. Okay, so it looks like... Isabel again. I feel like this is the character we've seen the most today. Yeah, I had to fight one earlier on uh, the bracket. Nice parry. Gets the grabs. Uh, not, nothing off of it. But you get so much damage as Olimar just by, you know, throwing the Pikmin onto the yeah. opponent, the side B. Oh, the white Pikmin does a ton of damage, too. Look at that. Already almost, already over 100 damage. Who's, like, objectively the best Pikmin? Objectively, probably the, oh, I don't know. The purple one has a lot of utility because yeah. it's I, strong on land, on if it hits you, and it's strong if they swing it, too. Yeah. Whereas all the other ones are pretty, like, they're average strength. I, the white just has a lot of damage when it's latched. Yeah, because I know they have, like, different properties. Like, I think one, I think I think it's the yellow or some other color who has, like, a high throw but doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, the uh, the blue. Yeah, If the you blue. get the blue on a grab, you can kill very, very early. Yeah, we're on Daisy as J-Dash right now. Uh, Let's see if Contro can extend this lead before he has to play Kazuya. 
I love how, um, did you hear when, uh, when Sakurai was like, we didn't want to add Minecraft's original music so it was too peaceful, yet they have, like, Animal Crossing music, which is probably the most peaceful music. Yeah, exactly. So it's just kind of like... Yeah, it's like, what's the difference? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of really funny Animal Crossing music. It's like, it's I so love fun. when it's like the battle of the Sentry and KK sliders in the background, like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you like, uh, when the... Level up expo, there was like Town and City was playing like the most peaceful music, the most intense <laughs> game ever. I saw like a meme, it was like most intense game, game five in Animal Crossing music. Love it. <laughs> Alright, 157 already racked up on a J Dash. Oh the Contro oh. Olimar is kind of cooking. Olimar is, for me at least, pretty weird to play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very strange character. Oh, I think clanking with the turn up. Oh, misses, and this should be stock, right? Okay. Yup, actually taking it with up throw. I don't think I've ever seen a daisy <laughs> kill with up throw. I never. I think he's looking for the stitch face. Yep, there it is. Oh, right. actually able to get it. Contra just holding shield. <laughs> what? Yup, me. J Dash said, I like that. <laughs> That's so funny. But J Dash on K rule, I feel like this is a great character to get uh, on random because it's very simple to play. Yeah. Strong options. Uh, we'll see how it does in Akazia, though. I think J Dash can probably, because there's only a few people who can actually play Kazuya well. Yeah, it just kind of depends uh, on what you value. The Kazuya could definitely just like rack up damage, even playing very basic. Yeah. And like up B will kill like very soon. You've got oh. a command grab, so oh command grab. Oh, oh. gets the trip into it's the command grab. Might kill? No, yeah, no, he's facing the wrong cable, way. Yeah. yeah, and it's on town, so very high ceiling. Up town. Fair the stage. laser out. What's the play? Ooh, okay. Oh, I thought he was going to back air there. Back air would have definitely killed. Oh, okay. He is really looking. That's right. it. Good F tilt. Yeah, the pivot cancel being tricky with that. And we got Marth. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just chucking out moves. He's got to be careful, though. Yeah. Run off Nair as K roll will destroy the, any character with this type of recovery. Oh, be careful. J Dash got to play super careful here, even as a heavyweight like K roll. Yeah. Already racked up 169% onto this K roll. He is Contra really looking for that kill. <laughs> Nair? Yep. Wow, just armoring K through. K roll's always love that Nair. Oh, yeah. They, that's the one thing about K roll that's odd compared to the other heavies. Like, other heavies get juggled very, very yeah. hard. I. <laughs> yeah. The, really, the only one is maybe like. Bowser. Bowser is can be pretty scary to juggle because with the his down the down B down, down area at a disadvantage. It, you have to keep that in mind, but like the armor, uh, the actual armor on Nair, yeah, phasing through moves is so good. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Two hundred. It's at two hundred eight. I don't even think of Tipper at this point. Oh no! Oh, no no oh. way! No way! Okay. Okay. The rage. Okay. I was. Oh! Oh! That's it! Yeah. Let's go. The YOLO down smash oh my. into that offstage situation. Those trades were so unfortunate. Contro, no. <laughs> oh, what a great stuff from Jade Ash. Jade Ash bringing that game smash. back after the all of our cooked. And that's going to be Jade Ash moving on into winners uh, loser side grand finals to face off against an unlikely opponent in Tricky. Not that we're surprised that Tricky has the skill, but just based on the seeding, it was like, wow, oh, man. Was that 2-0 or 2-1? That was 2-0, right? Yeah, I think it was 2-0. Yeah. yeah. That last game was just so in Contra's favor, I just kind of assumed it was over. He came in clutch. Yeah, you just wait. Yep. Yeah, he DQ'd. <laughs> All right, so we got Grand Finals. Yeah, Grand J Finals. J -dash. J Dash. Tricky. Tricky winner side, J Dash loser side. And Tricky uh, has taken down some good opponents to get here. He's beaten Slap. He's beaten J Money. He beat Contro and beat J Dash earlier. So this is the run back. I it mean, did go game three though. The game game one was actually kind of close with Tricky because my Ryu was actually cooking. <laughs> he actually did make a really good comeback with his Samus though. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Let me check the bracket for myself with singles. Oh yeah, I gotta fight. take a peek too. Let's see who you gotta fight. So I am. I gotta fight Gold Badger, and you gotta fight. Let's 
Let's see, where, where are you at? Where are you at? Where's my boy Nomad? Who do I get? Lockster. Well, oh. All right. How do you feel about fighting him? I fought Lokster pretty pretty recently, but uh, I've I, never lost. I think I've only fought you once in bracket. You did, yeah. That was a crazy set because I was like, I won game one and I was like, I'm a Falco, ditto you. And then you like effed up my Falco. I was like, that was a mistake. And then I switched to Sephiroth. Sephiroth. I, I think I shield break you actually. You did. I had like a big. It was like three stocks to one. I was like, yeah, yeah. And then you like, I, I, you took my first stock or whatever. And then you shield broke my second stock, and I died yeah. at like forty percent. I was like, I started sweating. You were at like pretty high percent, but like you were Sephiroth, so I was like, oh. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if I was probably at zero percent on the last stock, I would have camped you out. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I always do, just camp. Oh yeah, no, with Sephiroth, yeah, that's very strong. Sephiroth, I think Sephiroth's pretty decent. Oh yeah, I I, I think Sephiroth is a very good character. So what's He's, this? Is this this is uh, right now Momocon uh, Grand Finals is playing on it? Sonic vs. Light. Light Sonic losers. beat Light earlier, uh, game five. He oh. had a up, they were both at 100%, and they were shielding next to each other. And Sonic's like YOLO up smash, <laughs> and it shield poked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so he was dead if it didn't. He was uh, if, if he didn't shield poke there, he actually just gets up smash and dies. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, look at this pressure coming out from Light. Dang. Ooh. Mm. Ah, you, you all can't see it in the chat, but man. Light is... Fox is really crazy. It played really well. Yes, Fox is so busted. <laughs> Fox wins. Sonic wins. Sonic, yeah. Sonic. I, I actually believe Sonic has no losing matchups. He has even matchups, but oh, he oh, that okay, roll. that was that he was really just, clean there. If he re let let it loose to the up smash there, ooh, I I think he was too scared. Oh, good up smash. He's, he's tech chasing. Fox oh my gosh. Fox players are really good at reading and reacting. Yeah. They are incredible at it. Their character is built for it. The speed. The speed. Let me see. I want to double check bracket real fast. Uh, did he change it? She was just saying some changes were made. Let's see. RVA. All right, I gotta play Gold Badger. And whoever, whoever, whoever wins the set, I have to fight. I gotta fight Madison. Oh God. Easy. All right, you guys still gotta fight Logster. Logster into Contro. All right. I swear, I've, <laughs> I was. I've, I've only fought Madison once. Yes. I've only fought Madison once in doubles. Everyone is here. Do you want me to? I, I could just do it too if you want. Oh, that's true. Yeah, from there. Yeah. All right. So we got Tricky. Oh, here we go. Yep. Tricky versus J Dash. This is grand finals. So if Tricky wins, it's over. Oh, and he gets a character. He's actually. Oh, just kidding. That's. Tricky keeps getting uh, Tricky and Dash. Both of them, I've seen them get uh, their other opponent gets one of their characters. Yeah, yeah. Tricky has been working on uh, Shulk, but it's gonna be Tricky on the Krom instead, which I feel like is a good character to get. Um, this character definitely can ed get edge guarded, I, I, but I feel like we've been seeing a lot of Krom as well. Mm -hmm. well. I don't know if you know this, but the random uh, for ultimate is not based it's not truly random it's not it's based on what gets picked most frequently and it, oh. it favors things that don't get picked and that's yeah. why you see a lot of bayo ice climbers and okay. isabel yeah the I, lowest frequency I, picks are going to come up I way more in random mine actually told me that so i guess that's why we won't be seeing a lot of maybe like more common maybe like pyromythor or something oh we have starts the wrong way that was like stock <laughs> for sure i hate that yeah i know that's why a lot of times i pick I, my reaction time is Awful. So it, I, I just picked down like smash and it just, on both sides. You just kind of like, you're just a static screen. What's up? Terry is really good at killing, so really all I need to get is a burning knuckle or jab jab power down for here. Okay. Right now we got JDash with a, a little bit of a lead, 44% extra credit, already 150% onto Shulk though. Should be dead soon. A dash attack will definitely kill here. Jab, jab, power dunk should. 
is really... Oh, you try to go for the bring up. Yeah, JNX playing really well right now. And on Buster, this is doing so much damage, almost 100%. And now Terry has go, but you're off stage. Um, if he can get a... He should have probably up tilted there. He could have probably up tilted Power Geyser. Oh, this Maybe you should get up Buster Wolf. Oh. Oh. He missed the pivot cancel, uh, but still gets the stock. Okay, so the little Mac? Oh, no, Villager, okay. All right, Master that. Core said this is Demetrius, the black Villager. <laughs> I never knew it had a name. That's sick. Demetrius. Demetrius that, is on the board. You know what been really cool? Like, there's like a, like the eighth slot for Villager. You can actually make the Villager. You oh, can? That would be really cool. You oh, could. you said you, if you could. Yeah, that would be sick. I would love that. Custom Villagers. Custom Villagers. That would be awesome. It's like the Mies, but more cursed. <laughs> but way more cursed. That's so funny. 200%. J Dash die. is a living. Okay, Just never kidding. mind. <laughs> uh, we okay, so I think this is another villager. Yeah. Okay. The so, villager ditto. I, I, this is a rare sighting here. Wow, we got two people from the same town fighting it out. <laughs> so. And see, Lloyd rockets everywhere. It's hard to tell whose is whose. They're both narrowing each other. Already 100% racked up onto Tricky, though. And that up tilt, very, very good. It's actually intent. The upper part of Villager is intangible. So, oh, as so an anti air like goes, it's Ryu, very, very strong. It's kind of like Ryu intense. Yeah, like, there's, you're not going to challenge yeah. it. Yeah, you're not supposed to challenge it. Yeah, it's, you kind of just got to watch them do it. If they wave their stick around, you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can do that. Isabel, too. Oh, Isabel's the same way. Yeah. At least she's got some good. So good. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> the <laughs> the <laughs> slingshots. <laughs> Everywhere. Slingshots and Lloyd Rockets. Oh, the tree almost oh, growing up and hitting J Dash. Yeah. The axe so strong. And actually chopping out the tree too there. That was kinda cool. Oh my oh, he's god. He's got the piece of wood. Uh Yeah, who does? Oh, oh he no, caught no, it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just have this log. You have it. It is this matchup is really interesting. Yeah, but honestly, like, it's uh, Tricky took a little damage from the last character, but uh, he's done a lot of damage okay. unanswered. And actually getting it down to the last character, it's Ridley. I think the Ridley is a really good squad strike character to get to. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I think this might be game here. No bias, though. Yeah, the ledge scenario versus Ridley. Yep. That's going to be a big back air. <laughs> Oof. Game one, Rid Ridley actually just kicking Villager out of existence here. Good stuff to J Dash. Ridley, the most underrated character in Smash. Don't at me. <laughs> you said Ridley? Yep. MDVA, we don't underrate Ridley. We know the truth. We got Smub in the building too. No, yeah. I have not. I can text him real quick. Okay. Griffin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, true. Oh, we got a weird team. Lucario, okay. Bayo, Lucario, I imagine we'll see a reroll. Did you see Armadillo? Yeah, yeah Armadillo. Yes, run? Armadillos. Yeah. I played Armadillo once. I made oh, a switch yeah. off of Lucario. To who? To uh, Pyramithro. Okay. And then he beat me. <laughs> Everyone secondaries them. Yeah. Why am I even surprised? Lucario. It was a pound. <laughs> Lucario. I used to main Lucario when I started playing Smash. Really? But then I switched off because I got bored of him. But now I'm kind of enjoying him more now. Yeah, Lucario. Uh, definitely an odd character. But, you know, we, we re rolled. So, a villager again. <laughs> villager, Fox, Hero. I'm surprised the Smash. Oh, J Dash got. Okay, you got to re roll, Tricky. You got to re roll, bro. J Dash got uh, Joker. I'm surprised that um the Smash community hasn't like named all the villager alts yet. That named been, what? Named all the villager alts like their own little name and unique. Yeah, character. true. Like kind of like how we don't we don't actually call Doctor Mario Doctor Mario. We just call him Doc. Just Doc, yeah. It's like a uh, there is one villager that I the only one that I know of is the high villager <laughs> <laughs> with the eyes. RVAB hating both. It's the only link. It's the link. So true. So true. Me and my homies hate those characters. So true, bestie. <laughs> Me and yep. my homies be hating those characters. I would much rather fight Young Link than Toon Link. Really? <laughs> yes. My, that's kind of weird because I Falco for me, to, Falco destroys Toon Link. I, maybe I should try Falco into Toon Link. I, I, uh, no. it's, I think it's unfavorable for Falco. Oh, it's unfavorable? Yeah, I think so. I'll have to look back. Tilding made a matchup a few months ago. I'll have to check it. Thinks Toon Link is unfavorable? Uh, Toon Link is favorable. Toon Link, I think it's either slight win for Toon Link or win for Toon Link. Whoa, that's weird. Yeah, oh, I, I used to think it was slight favor for Falco because of projectiles, but you know his sword. True. All right, J Dash on the corn right now. Oh, are you dead? No, okay, no. Fox's jetpack goes pretty far. He's his little up B. Oh, anti-air up smash from J Dash not killing. 
And this is J-Dash one game away from resetting the bracket on Tricky. And he's got all this time to play in Loser, so he might be heating up. I've got to find me some of my music selection for bracket. This is one of those matchups. Whenever you fight Fox, you, you end up parrying him a lot, but just for positioning. Yeah. Like, you're like, I don't want to give up stage, so I'm going to parry instead. With, really, with Fox, um, well, from my experience, he really had to play his own game. Yeah. Okay, good. Wow. Good jump read there. What a call out. Finds the back air. Can he find more? <laughs> it so took long. so long to load it. Right, Pyro Mithra. Okay. This the is such a easy start start in the game. Yeah, right. legit. Ah! Instantly Did, killing. Do you remember Fox's voice in Smash 4? What was it like in 4? It was like so high pitched. Was it? it was, yeah, they, they did him dirty. He got like a like, weird New Jersey accent. He was like, fire. Fire. <laughs> I'm so happy to change that. I think he's actually got a new voice actor every Smash game. Yeah, I like the OG, the Melee Fox. Yeah, the Haya. <laughs> I think in Melee, Falco's voice actor is the same in all regions. It's the same Japanese one. You know what's a fun fact about Melee, uh, or about Falcon in general, is the clips, the, all of his audio stuff is uh, from Melee. In yeah. This game. Like, and they, even the one they used for his final smash was something they recorded and didn't use. Yeah, they didn't use. So they just have used all of Falcon's audio like across all the games. <laughs> I think, so, Smash Brawl, Falcon's voice actor changed, and then 4 they changed, and now 4 is the same as Ultimate. Yeah. Tricky, uh, maybe feeling kind of warmed up on the villager. Maybe that's why he didn't reroll. Because uh, right now, 100 damage racked up on the Pyramithra. Oh, good air dodge. Tricky is he's gaming right now. <laughs> yeah, he's just a little bit. Oh, I thought he was going to side B there with Pyramithra. Yeah, probably would have been, been the better option. Yeah. Less committal than dash attack because your body's still safe. Even though without the so, you're, you are without so, your sword. Sometimes what I always say, you gotta do crazy or risky options just to show your opponent you're willing to do it. Yeah, make them a little nervous. Yeah, like go for like a spike that is incredibly dangerous to go for. All right, the bowling ball. You love to see it. Oh, oh I think he was hoping to shield. He was gonna shield there. So this is scary. A tricky, I feel like really needs to get this with oh. Pyramid. Oh, landing on the platform. He doesn't know how to play on battlefield. It's and that's over. gonna be last. Character for J Dash, but it's literally Joker, his main. Okay. <laughs> Gets the knockdown. Okay. It might be over. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. He needs to find some extra credit. Oh. Maybe pop oh. Arsene before he loses his character. He, if he can him. get Arsene off the table with Villager, there's a chance. I think what's going to happen is, is that uh, J Dash is going to take this stock and then he's going to get it right when. Um, right when Hero shows up? Yeah, okay. Hero, all right, since Hero has such amount of RNG, I think it's still up in the they air. He just rode oh all the way. Oh my god. Ah, he didn't jump off. No. You're throwing. All right. Um, focus, focus. He's right. just chucking stuff out right now. I mean, that's all. I mean, that's what non-Hero players do. Yeah, it's true. Hero yeah. is a very interesting character. All I'm going to say. Yeah. Uh, See if he can find a way, but right now Jadash is playing extremely clean, like just no risk at all. He's just poking with projectiles, landing with safe cross-up moves. All right, Ar Arsene is about to come out. This could, I think, if Arsene comes out, it might be like, really scary. Oh but yeah, no, especially you're at you're at kill percent now off yeah. stage. Arsene, Arsene about to pop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah but now Arsene's yeah, here for the ledge trap. Okay, but just jumping out of the corner. Oh, you missed the grab. Rolling out of pressure, you're in the corner. Nice, Sizz. Magic, oh, he could have done a magic burst there. That yeah, but then it's going to cost all his mana. Yeah, but that would have been a really good option. Oh. To get rid of Arsene for sure. But I don't think J-Dash needs Arsene to win this. Mm, definitely not, yeah. But it's going to oh. help. This could be it here, though. So. Nice recovery. Arsene's gone. Go oh! oh my gosh. This could be This could be game now right here. this right here. It's for Tricky. Come the back tricky. coming out. He's poking. He's, he's really looking for that neutral B. Oh, he dashed back on oh, his shield. Good mix. Yeah, hero up. He had a shield. Actually, a pretty good option. Uh, but he didn't choose to pop it there. The pressure. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. He almost uh, gimped him out. That's oh, it. That's it. Yep. yep. All right. Wow, that's our bracket reset for J Dash. Oh my. That was crazy. All right, bracket so reset. So I think we're actually gonna pause sets here. For like two minutes, two minutes. Uh, we're gonna have them. Uh, we're, we're gonna start singles up off stream. So hang tight, guys. The, we'll be right back with you.
That's awesome. If you are hungry or thirsty at any point, head on up to the Casa Per Car. They've got lots of great food, lots of great uh, drinks. Uh, they have a strawberry shortcake ice cream sandwich today. Yeah, that's very good. They've got a uh, seltzer hop, uh, which is not alcoholic, on tap, only five dollars. Very citrusy, very delicious. So if you are hungry or thirsty, head up to the bar. Um, make sure to tip the person helping you out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine setups plus stream. That's gonna be ten setups we're running all day. Um, we're gonna call you all up. Uh, in pairs of two to each setup, you're gonna play a best of three up until uh, top eight wins the best of five. The winner is gonna come over here to myself or Nomad, whoever's sitting in this chair right here, and report the score. And then we're gonna keep on going. If you're using a wireless controller, please disconnect it when you're done. That's gonna help us keep on going as well. Uh, if you lose once, it's a case of double elimination bracket. If you lose twice, you win every single person in the tournament except for one, then you are out. But there's a redemption bracket. If you do lose and lose round one, or lose round two, you are eligible to play in a free redemption bracket. Uh, there's going to be a sign-up sheet up here. You're just going to put your tag. And then uh, we're going to keep on uh, going uh, with our bracket. So, lots of great Smash. Follow the socials. It's at RVA Smash. It's about everything. TikTok, Instagram, uh, YouTube. There's going to be a shirt over there as well. RVA Smash and Casper crossover shirt. $20. Bring it up to the bar. You can buy it for yourself as well. Um, otherwise, thank you so much. These are hard tournaments. We really appreciate y'all being here. We this without you. All right. On setup one, can we get Ouija versus Link Curry? Ouija versus Link Curry on setup one. Y'all are good to play, by the way. On setup two, Slap versus Gold Badger. All right, we are back in action. This is set number two. The bracket reset is on board. J Dash. 2 0 and tricky there, but a close final game. That was really uh, scary stuff. On setup three, Sock versus Row. Sock versus Row on setup three. And they're just, I think they're going with the characters they got. See some heavy boys on there. You'll love to see it. Y'all love to see it. All right, game one, Luigi coming out versus Game & Watch. Two very polarizing characters. Finals reset. There we go. Should be updated score for you guys, you know, professional stream, professional streamer. We in here, we in here. All right, but it's going to be J-Dash opening up this. Game & Watch proved very deadly for J-Dash earlier. It did so much work in one of his earlier sets. I can't remember who he was fighting. Uh, but we got Tricky on the Luigi. And right now, Game Watch, outside of the percent where the zero to death would work, if Tricky did happen to have that on deck. But, you know, most, most people I feel like when you're playing, you know, getting one random, you probably don't. But Luigi, probably going to struggle to pressure Game Watch safely. He's a pretty slow character and also has a, you know, a, a, does have the grab range, so can grab the shield. That's probably what Tricky's going to need to look for. Finds the back air finally into dash attack. Spot dodge into the jab for J Dash. Oh, barely missing there, and that's a nice reversal bear for Tricky. Up B will kill. Nice gets the parry, but J Dash faced it, pulling back all the way, putting the turtle on him. Franklin coming out. Look at all these bombs, dropping bombs. Looks like a war zone, and there's not even a snake on the screen. 131% on Luigi. Yeah, it's gonna side B safely enough. Oh, this could be a confirm. Okay, you can uh, just F tilt there. Oh man, that could have been the stock. And Tricky has fought his way back into this game on Luigi, walking slowly back to center. And the bomb finally gonna take it. The big forward air drifting in. Oh, Lucina, and actually a really strong pick against uh, against Game & Watch. Has the range and safety to pressure his shield. Threatening the back air, but not gonna drift all the way out. J-Dash wisely drifting out to recover, and that's gonna be evened up. So Tricky not letting the lead get away from him. J-Dash is rocking the Zelda here. The first Zelda I've seen today. Finds the fair. All right, starting to get a little bit going. A little bit of offense. Somehow that falling up air miss. Down throw fair connecting for Zelda. That's a lot of damage. Ooh, scary stuff. Interacting with Phantom. And right now, J 
Jin actually looking pretty comfortable on the Zelda. Falling up here, not going to connect to the next up air for Tricky. Yeah, but that F smash, nice and clean. Catching his landing under the platform. Ooh, misfaces the back air. It's funny because I feel like Tricky plays really well on the janky characters, and he seems to be a little uncomfortable on Lucina, maybe. Tricky? Yeah, uh, Lucina, not, maybe not weird enough. Yeah, maybe maybe not uh, too specialized. Yeah. A little, a little too average. Yeah, very definitely a solid character, though. That's a shield oh, the break. Shield break. A sweet Let's spot. See. Fully charged F Smash gonna yeah. take it. Not even a question as to whether that's gonna kill yeah. or not. Well, we got the K rule out, though. This is a tricky character. Uh, I feel, I feel that. Jada is doing really well on this Zelda, though. Yeah, his uh, he played Game and Watch earlier too, and the Game and Watch was cooking. If Tricky can find this kill, which King K Rule can find kills at this percentage, oh, very easily. Uh, then this is way back to any given game. Yeah. I love the run up oh. grab from J Dash. Yeah, because the next character is Ganondorf, who actually definitely, I, I feel like definitely loses to K Rule. Ooh, runoff, so. runoff Nair is too good in that matchup. Oh, we got the whole Tears of the Kingdom lineup coming out. <laughs> the Tears of the Kingdom lineup? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant K Rule. Yeah, I guess Zelda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Zelda, Zelda into Ganondorf. Yeah, uh, oh, I thought he was going to Tricky nair. wanted it. Yeah. He's like, I want to end this game immediately. Okay. Oh, a little oh, bit greedy, th but the shield, uh, the shield pushback making him not get grabbed. Yeah, the grab range from K Rule. K Rule is a big uh, character, but not a big grab range. Ooh, this is the side B. Oh, this is kind of scary because one big hit from J Dash and it's all over. Oh, yeah. yeah there it that's is. It. Yep. Wow, and that's going to be J Dash. Three unanswered games right now on the verge of taking the tournament from loser's side. Which I'm sure yeah. he would be thrilled with. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm pretty sure Tricky was the one that. Send him down here, I think. Or was it Contro? Um, I'm not sure. I kind of want to look at the bracket here. Uh, For science, it was. Tricky did beat J Dash 2 oh, yeah, to yeah, 1 yeah. in Winner's Finals. Yep, that's right. That's right. So he did. So this was the run back. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes that, that loser's bracket power up is real. You get to keep playing. You stay hot. I think they're re rolling. That's my guess. I mean, they both got. Yep, they're re rolling. They, they both, both got, got Snake, got but snake, snake is Tricky's main. Yeah. You know what's funny is Tricky let J Dash play Joker earlier. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's the right call, but I think it I, wasn't. <laughs> I don't know that Tricky will re-roll. Yeah, I don't think he has yet. I don't think I've seen yeah. him do it. I don't, I don't think he's somebody who would do it. I think he's just happy with whatever he gets, yeah. whatever the opponent gets. He's just going to play the it out. spirit of Smash yes. lives in Tricky. Definitely. Sakurai's own son. <laughs> uh, but Tricky getting Palu, Meta Knight, J -Dash got Joke. J-Dash also getting again. Joker again. And Pat again, and, and he got clouded. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, okay Tricky finally, does yeah. re-roll. Yeah, he was like, okay, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> there's a limit here. Yeah, this, this thing has levels. Yeah. That, that was too good. Tricky's did, did the cloud charging, and then the limit hit. Yeah, the exactly. Hit. He unleashed cross slash. He looked over at J-Dash, and J-Dash was like this. Yeah. <laughs> Had his arms extended. All right, but that means that both players have re-rolled. It's just down to this. All right. Final lineup. This is potentially Tricky's. Uh, J-Dash got Zelda again. Again, yeah. Pichu, that feels like a J Dash character. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it's got the fa the speed and everything. Speed and but combo game. Hmm. And small. And Very small. Very small. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is an interesting lineup. This seems like a better lineup than what Tricky has been getting. Yeah. However, maybe again to like normal. We got the. Uh, excuse me. So we got the Meta Knight. I feel like Meta Knight manages to be a little a little odd in this game just because you know, no one plays it. Look how big Meta Knight looks compared to Pichu. Ah, uh, yeah, it that's looks wild. so awkward. A giant. He's, yeah. He just looks dense. <laughs> Thank you. Gets the knockdown. And both of them kind of playing safe right now. Everything that J Dash does with electricity on it will continue to damage Pichu. And that's not what you want. Pichu already such a light character. You will die so early to like that. Like an F smash at ledge, which has no lag. Oh, trying to catch the Ubby with the down B. Kind of a great idea from J Dash, but it's not working out. And right now, Tricky, a little bit of a percent lead, which is very meaningful in this matchup. But the gap is closed just like that. J Dash looking for an F smash so strong. Ooh. Nice find the down air out of shield. Trying to two frame that recovery, but. J-Dash zipping to the ledge before Tricky could get there. 
I got B safely to stage. Both of them at kill percent. Ooh. All right, nice up air out of shield. J Dash playing very safe. That actually traded. I thought that was gonna be Tricky's hit, but that's J Dash the lead in this game that could be uh, Tricky's last. And that's gonna be a huge advantage. Shade up air, up air, up air, back air. Using the platform for the extension. Okay, but anything should kill Pichu. Yeah, Pichu with glass cannon, and I mean that glass is shattered right now. Yeah, that glass looking kind of cracked, looking uncertain. Yeah, just needs like a like a pointer finger to just, just touch boop. it. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> boop at home. Got to put it in. Yeah. I mean, in this case, just a big chain. Needs to find it. Forward throw will definitely kill. F tilt does take the stock. Yeah, back to a fairly even, but some good extra credit for J-Dash. Yeah. Tricky pulling the trigger on that down air a little bit too soon. Uh, iframe is still active. Yeah, that's uh, a common mistake I see. Players will uh, give up kind of a, give up an, a neutral win. Finds the bear. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, J-Dash kind of just holding center stage. Yeah, just playing well. Very hard for Tricky to get back. Recover safely using the down tilt, a very good mobility option as well. Oh, just throwing out the the cross and the axe at the same time. Just oh yeah, being, being tricky. That's right, being tricky. How does he have this all oh, in his pockets? <laughs> Those are cargo pants for sure. Yeah, I mean, tossing out a lot of projectiles and now kind of holding center as well. But the damage just being put on isn't too too much. Yeah, I think, uh, but I think he is uh, kind of playing the game plan now. The Smashville game plan for a character like Belmont is to get under that platform, control the stage. Oh, lands Ooh. just beside J Dash, but not getting killed for it. Like dash oh. back. Oh, the spot dodge. Spot dodge for that grab. Wow. Oh, nice stage spike. I did not expect that to hit. I, I thought the iframes, yeah. Yeah, he was at over 150% though, so your invincibility is like basically nothing. Yeah, tricky with the Greninja. Has to bring this all the way back. If there's a character that can do it, I think Greninja is a good example. A uh, very evasive character, hard to hit, can rack up this lead without taking any more percent. And right now, that's kind of looking like the way it's going with J-Dash wanting to close this out, I'm sure, and with the lead right now in an excellent position to do so. Oh, yep, down air to fair, a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. Oh, bad counter from Tricky, but not punished. J-Dash playing out of shield, very slow. Holding down center. And just raw side B to catch the landing. I feel like this is definitely a Greninja favorite matchup. Oh, what a weird counter. Yeah, the Zelda for J Dash was very good last, Ooh. last game, though. Yep, J Dash spacing well. Already 61%. Ooh, looking for the up air. Zelda up air, very strong. The ledge trap again, and that's going to take it? No. Okay, good DI from Tricky. That that's might That's going to take it. it. Yeah. yeah, but that's going to be J-Dash closing it out with the reset. Four games unanswered. That is your Squad Strike champion. Yeah, coming back from loser's bracket and taking grand finals 2-0 and 2-0. 2-0 and 2-0, yeah. But good stuff to Tricky as our 5C. What a run. You know, getting yeah. all the way to winner's side grands, just not able to close it out. But both players played well. Saw a showcase of skill. Saw a lot of characters. Saw J-Dash get some crazy luck getting Joker twice. Twice, yeah. What? Having to reroll on it a second time. Yeah. Um, 